Get your balls out of her purse. Go dig up your spine. It's time for the Man Mindset Dating Radio Show with your host, all the way from Planet Man, Steve the Dean Williams. This show is rated man. It contains ways to pick up women without the use of tricks and gimmicks. If you're looking for a quick fix or a magic pill, please take your soft, weak, cake ass to another show. This radio show is intended for people who are ready to learn how to date and bed women like real men do. Time to stop the bullshit and time to listen to real men. Viewer discretion is advised. How many of you guys are tired of buying sexy women like me gifts, drinks and dinners expecting sex but end up falling into the friend zone? Becoming my gay best friend, being the guy who will drive me around, pay my bills, or be that shoulder to cry on when that real man leaves me in tears. Welcome to the ManMindset.com radio show with your host, Steve the Dean Williams. As long as you think the world revolves around us women, you will always be a sucker and a loser to us. Steve is here to guide you on all man issues, such as manhood, dating, sex, leadership, success, relationships with women, marriage, and fatherhood, with easy, simple solutions that will rid you of your fears and problems with women. Learn how to reinvent yourself and see the world with a new set of eyes without any self-sabotage or excuses. Take it away, Steve. What's going on, everybody? How y'all doing tonight? I am your host, the Dean. Class is in session. Welcome to the Red Line Show, guys. Y'all call in if y'all have any questions and y'all need to talk and discuss any of your problems today. Um, Before we get the show started, everybody, as always, we got to talk about our sponsors here. This is being brought to you by Tactical Soap. Guys, make sure that y'all go to tacticalsoap.com and uh, wash your bodies. Also, this is being brought to you by Tate's War Room, guys. Tate's War Room. And also, this is being brought to you by the Fraternity of Excellence. Join the online brotherhood of exceptional men. And last but not least, the 21 convention that's going on October 24th through the 27th in uh, next month, man, this is it. It's going to be D-Day, man. This is going to be the last one of the decade, man. Y'all need to check this out, man. Uh, go ahead and check that out. Um, 21 Convention, guys, check that out. Twenty, uh, The 24th through the 27th. Hope you guys are doing well. Guys, I want to say what's going on with y'all. Hope y'all guys are doing today. Those that are listening right now and those that are listening uh, later on. Hope that you uh, are doing well. Also, I just want to let you guys know that we have released. uh, If y'all have have not had your ear to the ground as far as the man mindset goes, we have done something again that no one else does. We have released the Halloween game for you guys already. It is out there. Um, And I just want to say real quick for you guys out there, if you want to check that out, go to the man mindset dot com and check that out. It's the first link. And it is really the, uh, if you guys really want women, I am preparing you guys early now to go ahead and uh, do the Halloween thing so you can have women coming up to you and approaching you. We have several, we have a, we have a show as when you click on that, you'll see we have a show on why it's important to be adventurous, creative, and have an imagination as well as testimonials from the guys that did exactly what we told them to do and the successes that they have. So a lot of you guys always say you want women. Well, you guess what? I'm the only one in town bringing you women. You've got the dating chat line that's loaded with women. You've got the Halloween game that's loaded with women. And also on the 22nd before the 21 convention, we are all you're going to have to do is call into the show And I'm going to look for places so you can go. So there's no excuses whatsoever, guys. No excuses whatsoever. So I just want to let you guys know that. So that is out. But anyway, let's get on into it. Guys, don't forget there is going to be a 
red line show. I mean, not a red line, but a um, red men group show tomorrow at 11 o'clock. Make sure y'all check that out as well. Uh, also, another announcement. I want to let you guys know that Monday show we're going to be talking about. My name is not Teddy Ruxman. And then Tuesday on my on my station, we're going to be discussing women and why they are the chess masters of this game. All right, guys, let's get into it, man. It's Friday night. Let's talk about it. And I pose a question to a lot of you guys. What's going on in the chat room? Guys, again, if y'all have any questions in the chat room, guys, come on, holler at your boy. Ask any questions you want in the chat in the chat room. And as well, um, also, uh, you can call in. We have the number, and we like to talk to you guys as well. Oh, last thing. We had fun last night, didn't we? We're going to do more of that, man. Had lots of emails, did an email show, and we did more class participation. And I'm real proud of those guys, man. Just want to give you all big ups. But let's go ahead and get into the show. So many guys out there have no idea what manhood is about. So many guys out there have no idea what the game is about because so many guys have been unfortunately born and have come in to this so-called matrix of nothing but false lies and bad information as far as being a man. And one thing that hurts a lot of individuals and we always talk about, but I want to talk about it here is that there are a lot of guys out there that are so busy watching YouTube videos and so busy reading books that they never take the time and go out and try the information that they are given and then they feel like the world is really shitting on them, so to speak. And that's not the truth. It's not the truth at all. But for a lot of you guys, it's not just women. Now, again, we, you know, we're going to talk more on women on Monday about that Teddy Ruxman stuff y'all doing. But today is about you being a man. And as a man, this has everything to do about everything that you are dealing with in your life as a man. There's no one else in the world that's telling you what I'm telling you right now. And I know a lot of you guys don't understand it, but I will tell you. That each and every one of you guys out there, there are only three laws in this world that you must follow. There are only three. Now, even though that you feel that you've got to follow, um, uh, a lot of you follow the law of uh, trying to make other people happy. you got the law of listening to your parents tell you how to be a man or tell you what you got to do. You follow the law of what women want you to be and all this other stuff. There are several laws that you follow in your life that puts you in a position of being a doormat instead of a door. But for me, I am no, I don't even know what it means to be a doormat, but, uh, you know, I'm trying to think how it is, but uh, that's just how it is, you know. Um, the thing is, for a lot of you guys out there, there are three laws that you have to follow. There's only three. And we talk about it all the time because, you guys don't realize that you are kings and you don't realize your worth. You don't understand your value. You don't understand that you are allowed to create your world. You don't have to follow the narrative that has been handed down from generation to generation that has been passed on by your father, who is probably sleeping on the couch or your mom who tried to make you into a man or, you know, uh, you, you just believe everything that you hear or you think. And that's just what it is. But as a man, I always tell you the three laws. You know, the first one, law of the land. You kill somebody, you get caught, you go into jail. Law of the land. Don't kill nobody, right? The other law is the law of the street, meaning that if there is a school zone that's 20 miles an hour and you are driving 50 to uh, 75 miles and you get caught by a police officer, you are going to get pulled over. That is called the law of the street, meaning that they have laws of how fast you should drive when you are either on the street or the road, okay? And that's just law of the street. 
And the last simple law is the law of the job. The law of the job is that simple. You go to job, whatever time they tell you to come in, you go in. Whatever time they tell you to take lunch, you take lunch. Whatever time they tell you to leave, you leave. And that's it. So outside of the law of the land, law of the street, and the law of the job, as a man, you are allowed to create your own laws that benefit you. You don't have to listen to what your mother tells you to be. Now, don't get me wrong when mom talks to you as far as uh, when you're living under a roof. Yeah, you got to abide by her rules. Don't get me wrong. But see, one thing your mother never told you, the marketers never told you, your friends have never told you, and all these other people is that the way you think and the way you behave uh, will show the whole world what kind of individual you are. Either you are going to be a door or a doormat. A lot of guys don't understand that, man. A lot of a lot of guys don't want to hear that and know that. But let's look at it. Let's look at let's look at who you allow to walk over you. You you allow your mother or your dad to walk over you. Most of you guys, your mother, your mother telling you. What's good enough for you? How to dress? You're a grown man. Telling you how to fix your house up. Judging every woman. You got to get mom's approval on who you date for some of you guys out there. None of you had the balls to check your own mother. Some of you guys have friends that, you know what? They walk all over you, push you around and all this stuff and bully y'all. I guess y'all call it now bullying. I mean, it's not really bullying. And we're going to talk more about this on Monday, but I'm going to make this clear. For a lot of you guys, the reason you have bad relationships, bad marriages, bad dating, bad everything when it comes to a relationship is because, and quote me on this, and get your crayons and write this down, because I'm going to be talking about this on Monday. That women do not want to mess with men whose pussies are tighter than theirs. And that's the truth. That is the truth. If your pussy is tighter than hers, she is going to walk all over you. Meaning that if you are, man, I'm going, we're going to break that down. We're going to break that down. Life just has some way of just walking all over you. But why does it happen? Why are you not a door? Why are you always seem like you're getting the short end of the stick? And that's what we're going to be talking about today. And if you got any questions, you can ask them as well. And if you want to call in, you can call in at 515-605-9373 is the number. 515-605-9373 is the number. That's what it's for. So I'm only here. I'm here for about an, about an hour and a half. We're going to just do an hour and a half. We're going to do a, not going to do a long show. Just keep it, just keep it solid. Keep it smooth. But for a lot of you guys, what makes you that way? It's your behaviors. It's not just your behaviors. It's for a lot of you guys, you don't understand or have never, ever been or have never seen real men. You have an idea what you think a real man is. Sorry, I got to put my phone on mute. Excuse me. You have an idea what you think a real man is? You think you're watching real men on TV? You think you're reading real man books and stuff like that? But here's the funny thing about it. You're doing all that reading and all watching all those movies, and yet you can't even stand up to your parents. You can't even stand up to your siblings. You can't even stand up to your friends. You can't even stand up to the world because the world just picks on you. And for some reason, you think that you just are a victim and the whole world hates you and is disgusted of you. But why is that, gentlemen? Why is that? And we're going to talk about this because so many of you guys, so many of you guys, man, 
don't understand that before the internet, men were real men. And, and like I told you guys, and I will always stress this to you guys, is that everything that you think is the game is not the game at all. And if y'all are new to this and y'all don't understand what I'm talking about, if y'all are new to this and don't understand what I'm talking about, you know, this has been, you know, the, 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 the thing about people is that they always want to take from or pick from and then they want to give it a name that has nothing to do what they pick from. Now, again, I can go all the way far back, and I usually do. I go back as far as, like, I give you an example, like Elvis Presley. You know, he think he was the king of rock and roll, but what people don't understand is that he went to churches and he went to the uh, so-called the other side of the street, keyword the street, and he learned certain moves that were being, that were being done and another community. And again, I'm not making this about white, black, because it's not a color thing. I'm just letting you know that a lot of people have done what I'm saying Elvis has done now. A lot of people have gone into the streets where the, the pimps, the players, the max, the hustlers, and the men were because the games originated and started from the street. It didn't start from the home. This thing started from the street. And a lot of these guys went on the street cherry picking what they felt was, well, I, I'll, take a, I'll take a piece of this and I'll take a piece of that and I'll take a piece of this and I'm going to call it game. And then some knucklehead writes a book, a big thick black book called The Game and y'all just put it in a bowl of cereal and ate it up and thought that, you know what, this is the game by using acronyms and all that other stuff. And then when you put that in front of a woman and she started using you and walking all over you and dogging you out, like most of y'all, you want to blame the woman. It's okay. It's just how it is. But the thing about the game the real game that came from the streets. The real game. Had nothing to do with women at all. The game that came from the streets knew one thing and one thing only. You can't cheat it. You either going to learn and get your ass beat and go through different challenges and go through different obstacles, get knocked down, beat up, dragged, and kicked, and then that is going to show you the mark of a man. Either you're going to get up, dust yourself off, and keep pushing forward, or you're going to take your little ball and go home and call it quits. But a lot of you guys don't even realize because a lot of you guys think that what you know is game, and you think you get it from people who even know about the game, half these guys have never been on the street. Half these guys have never been on the street. You don't see any, none of these guys are pimps, players, max, hustlers, and ballers, players and gigolos. You don't see those guys, but yet, what they have done is they have uploaded you information that has made you a doormat because what they have done is they have not challenged you and all they have been doing is doing more harm to you guys out there. Because as long as you watch the YouTube videos and as long as you read the books, you get to stay home where it's safe and you don't have to go out into a world that all the original players and that are gay. And I'm talking about, when I say players, I'm not just talking about black men. Because they were Asian players. They were, they were kings, warlords back in the day. In the 40s, you had mobsters, mob bosses. 
Italians, all that. It wasn't just a black thing. This thing, the game was lacing individuals that accepted that the world doesn't owe you anything, and if you want it, you're going to take it. That's that's it. If you want it, you're going to take it. You're not going to get a trophy. There's not going to be any excuses. You're not going to sit around and have pity parties, cuddle parties, and come up with words. That's just what it is. That's how it was. The game has been going on for a long, long time. Long time. Long time. But unfortunately for a, for a lot of you guys, a lot of you guys out there, Oh, uh, wait a second. I, don't know. I, I missed some of the some of the messages and all this other stuff. Hold on. Wait a second. Hold on. I'm sorry. Hold on. Hold on. Jeez. Hold on. What's up, guys? Hold on. Wait a second. Let me see some of you. I'm sorry. I, I, I was I was in my flow. Let me read what they somebody saying. Um, I want. I, wait. The woman I was with showed me an article of clothing I didn't approve of. It was something that's supposed to be just for us. I told her that it's only for me. And she said, I don't think this is going to work. Okay, what's your what's your question? Alpha, I don't understand your question. I do not understand your question. Let me go to Abdullah. I hope I can say it right. Internet screwed up real life interaction between men and women. That is absolutely right. Usher said rock and roll. Alpha continues to say, I told her if you if you want, you can leave. And I said what I said. And we didn't speak for a day. And then she called back apologizing and wanted me back. And I felt like she was trying, trying me. And he's writing more. Um, Steve, I do not believe that those pimps and players and hustlers are real men. Abdullah, it doesn't matter what you think because you got world is flat thinking. You got world is flat thinking. That it, 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 I, I love, I, I, I love how you guys think you, 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 do you understand? Let, let me educate y'all something. Let me let me allow me to educate you on something. Allow me allow me to give you a little. Let me go ahead and lace you, Abdullah. Because this is why my, my guys like you always gonna lose. And I want y'all guys to see what this young man said. I do not believe those pimps and players and hustlers are real men. You have never been around a pimp. I'm a player. I'm a player and a gigolo. Have a little bit of mac and a little touch of hustle. But what are you talking about? How can you not believe? How can you not believe that the players, pimps, hustlers, max, gigolos, all those in between? But let me explain to you why you don't believe. And let me explain to you why. The reason that you have, you can't see them as men because you've never been around real men. The thing about hustlers, max players, pimps, ballers, gigolos, uh, warlords, gangsters, mobsters, the whole nine, they have one thing in common, Abdullah, that you can't even scratch. You know why you can't sit at the table? And have the nerve to say what you say. Because you have world is flat thinking. And I'm going to tell you why you have world is flat thinking. With all due respect. Because I care about y'all guys. But I want to. We're going to keep this thing 100 on this show. We're going to keep it 100. Because where you don't. Uh, Abdul, you know you don't have clear expectations. They do. You don't delegate anything. They do. You're not an influence. You don't have any influence. They do. You don't stand up in what you believe in. Hmm. They do. You don't lead by example. <laughs> um, they do. You don't have a thirst for learning. They do. You aren't fearless. They are. You don't even take risks. They do. 
You don't set high standards for yourself. They do. You don't even take ownership for what you do. They do. You don't act decisively and you don't, you aren't assertive. They are. You don't get things done. They do. I can go on and on with just that right there. This is why you can believe what you want to believe and what you don't want to believe. But this is why you are not at the table with real motherfucking men because you think what you think. And this is the thing about you guys that y'all got to understand. You are allowed to feel how you want to feel. But they ain't the ones that are being walked over by women. They ain't the ones getting a punk car pulled. They aren't the ones getting hit, beat, abused, talked down to. But yet, you want to believe? Hey, 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 you want to believe in Santa Claus? Go right ahead. I'm not going to fight you on it because what you think is none of my business. Until you can sit at the table, then it's my business. But what you say is the equivalent of a thought of an ant somewhere in the Amazon waiting for someone to step on them. Let's be honest. I don't believe those pimps. And, how are how you going to believe? Where were you at before the internet to see what the real game was about? Well, y'all ought to be ashamed of yourselves. Let me continue. 515-605-9373 is the number. If y'all want to call in. We're going to keep this thing real. We're going to keep this thing 100. Y'all know how I do this thing. Getting back to Alva, continue. I, I'm even wrong for even caring about what she wears. I'm okay with a lot of things that she wears, but some things I only want for me. Am I wrong for telling her what I told her? Let me go back and read this joint correctly. Alpha, this is the same problem you had earlier today. Can you explain to me, and this is why you got that doormat mentality. You, you said to me, and I, and I, and I want to get this correct. You said to me, and I'm just reading what you said. The woman I was with, quote unquote, the woman that you was with. Not your woman. But the woman that you was with, that means she wasn't your girl. She was just some woman. And she was supposed to wear something that's just for us. What I keep telling you about those emotional things, dog? What did I keep telling you about that? And then the fact she says, I don't think this is going to work. And then you told her, all right, you can leave, right? Okay. And, oh, and you didn't speak. For a whole 24 hours. Wow. And she called apologizing and wanted you back. Am I wrong for even caring about what she wears? Dude, let me ask you a question. It's one thing if your woman, if she's your woman, it's one thing to know that she's a representation of who you are, and that's some of the things you should be checking as far as how she wears, what she wears, and how she carries herself. But if she's just some female, why are you acting more emotional than a woman that ain't your woman, dude? Come on. Abdul, I just answered your question. What's the basis? Staying home, this is true. I'd be good for a real man to stay in the house. And once he realized the game is done, he screwed up. Well, I don't even understand what you're saying. I, I don't I don't understand what you're saying. It'd be good for a real man to stay in the house. Let me explain something to you. And I, and I guess I kind of talked about this the other day. This is why y'all lose. 
and this is why they want y'all to lose because the more y'all lose, the more y'all keep tuning into them, feeding you the bullshit that they feeding you. Now I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna explain to you by wait, oh wait I'm sorry what did he say Let me get to this yeah let me let me post what he said guys and I, and and, and check this out well, by what I'm getting at and I talked about this see this guy when you have world is flat thinking and you listen to stuff like this he's trying to tell you guys to stay home and learn how to be a man <laughs> stay home watch and read books. And you don't have to go outside your door and you can be a man. And what did I tell you? That's the equivalent of somebody just playing T-ball, reading books about baseball. You are, you are easily batting a thousand from your house. It's so easy to take the T-ball, take the little baseball and sit it on the T. And then position yourself beside the T and swing it every time. And I guarantee it, if you swing it a hundred times, you're going to hit the T ball a hundred times. And the problem with you guys is that it is your benchmark until you do the one thing that shows the truth about you. And that's when you go outside your door. It's so easy to hide up under mommy's skirt, and it's so easy to be attached to mommy's umbilical cord, sitting around here making excuses and thinking that you can learn how to be a man from the comfort of your own home. Well, if that's the case, you should be able to learn how to drive from the comfort of your own home. You should be able to learn how to throw a football from the comfort of your own home. You should be able to learn how to fly a plane from the comfort of your own home. You should be able to learn how to be a surgeon from the comfort of your own home and so on and so forth with this kooky ass analogy. And you wonder why they look at you like you're a doormat. Because as soon as you are challenged you buckle, bend, break, run, freeze, and make excuses. And then you wonder why, and then you demand women to want you and to want to respect you. 515-605-9373 is the number. Let me continue. I see y'all guys are asking questions. I will go down to the next one. Joey, how are you doing, Joey? How are you doing? How do you improve your mouthpiece and yak? That is very easy, sir. You got to learn conversation ground zero. You got to learn conversation class one. You got to get the types of women. You got to know master the bedroom. Five play, kissing 101, fucking 101, um, types of women. A lot of things. Uh, uh, it's not, it's a, it's a lot of things. And that's the thing. You've got to learn. And if you want to learn, you know where to get at me and you can get at me. Real men don't display their women, Steve, though. Real men don't display their women. What, 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 do you, what do you mean real men don't display their women? Abdullah, I like you, man. And I'm not trying to be hard on you. But Abdullah, let's be honest, dude. And I'm about to answer the phone. Abdullah, you don't have any women. So how can you tell me, a guy that can get a woman with, a, with his eyes closed and his hands behind his back, how are you going to tell me what a man does with a woman when you don't even have one, dog. Come on, man. I'm, 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 I care about you guys, but y'all got to stop this, man. Stop the nonsense, man. Let me bring in this caller right here. 703, what's up with you, man? What's your name? Where you calling from? What's up, fam? Yo, what's up, fam? Made us Wayne. What's good with you? How you doing? How can I help you, brother? What's up? So, so I got this, uh, Got this little situation. Well, not not really situation, but uh, I got a text from a, a coach of mine at, at the gym. You know, pretty much went like, uh, "Hey, you know, I got this friend who might be interested in, you know, uh, hanging out with you." Okay, speak up a little bit. I can hear you, but speak up a little bit. I'm listening. Go ahead. Okay, yeah. So, so you know, I got a text. You know, from, from a coach. She was like, "Yeah, I got this girl. You know, who uh, might be interested in hanging out with you." You know, uh, she she has no idea that you know I'm I'm you know doing this 
So, you know, it's pretty much told me, you know, if I'm not interested and, you know, don't say nothing. Okay. So I said, cool, you know, uh, just let me know more. And uh, she, she mentioned who it was. And I know the girl. You know, we, we've had conversations at, at the gym. Uh, just here and there. You know, she, she sent me a picture of her and told me, you know, she, she's, uh, you know, a sweet girl, single. She had asked me if I'm, I'm still single. I said, yeah, I'm single. You know, I, I do like the girl's name, Stephanie. And I told her, yeah, I like Stephanie's personality. And you know, hopefully I will see her tomorrow. Tomorrow we got class. Um, and, you know, the, the uh, coach texts back like, yeah, you know, I would encourage you to ask her out for lunch or, you know, or exchange numbers to hang out. I said, yeah, cool. I'm on top of it. Um, so uh, she she actually sent me the girl's number, uh, you know, and told me, you know, Text her, call her, you know. Wait, wait, sir, 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 wait, wait, sir, sir, I, wait, wait, sir, I want to ask you a question because I, I just want to make sure. Is this the same woman that you have been talking to before at the gym? Uh, yes. Okay, before you go on, I need you to riddle my dumb ass this. Why didn't you have the balls to go ahead and bite her neck and take her up the tree when she asked you, were you single? Why did you have the balls to give her your number at that point and go ahead and talk to her? Why are you accepting a number from somebody else? It's it's like uh like kindergarten and, and, and week, man. Why why would you do that, dog? Man, I wasn't on the man mindset. So okay, and I respect that. Hey, and you know what? I respect that. Please continue, sir. Please continue. Go ahead. But uh, that so so that was you know the the end of the text. I'm you know just trying to see you know what do you think about this? How do I proceed? I mean, well, I you, got the number, you know. Right, but okay, but stop. How long have you been listening to Man Mindset for? Shit, man, it's been about two months, man. Religiously. Okay, two months religiously. Now you have heard what I always say. When do I say two plus two is what? Basically four, right? Right. Right. And if you have been now, did, did you did you look and learn the approach boot camp that I have? That's absolutely free. Uh, yeah, I got that and a few other courses. OK, but OK, but fam, if that's the case, then tell me why you didn't put your bid in when you first started talking to her instead of doing it a back doorway. That's that doesn't. All right, listen to me, brother. Listen to me. Listen to me. And I, 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 okay, listen, listen, listen. Let me tell you the problem with this. The problem is, is when the opportunity presented itself when you could have, as a man, when you were face to face with her and y'all were talking. Let me ask you this question Were you just talking to her because you wanted to be her best friend? Or was you talking to her because you were interested in her and you just didn't know what to say? Which one was it? Uh, I'm going to go with talking to her because I really didn't know what to say. How to okay, how long? Wait, wait. When did you, you, know, when, did you, hey, when, did you say, wait, when did you talk to her at the gym? When did you talk to her at the gym? Uh, this, is about, this is about two or three weeks ago. So That's stop right there. Stop right there. Stop right there. You said you've been listening to me for about two months. And you're telling me about something that happened two or three weeks ago? So are you really, do you really want to talk to the woman? Uh, yeah, I do. Okay, let's stop there. Okay. If you really wanted to talk to the woman, why don't you do what I showed you in the free boot can then? I ain't got no no good ass reason. Man. Well, why don't why don't we just why don't we then let's call a spade a spade. You were afraid, you were nervous, and you didn't know what to say. Can we agree on that? Hey man, I agree with you. Okay, respect. But this is what I'm talking about to you guys. I am giving you a simple kindergarten mathematical way to talk to any woman anywhere. Why is it that you just didn't... When, dude, when she asked you, were you single, do you understand that she was hitting on you? The, well, the, 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 the one who I'm... These are two, two different people. The one who asked me if I was single. 
This was the girl's friend who attacked me. Okay, hear me out. Okay, so the girl's friend that, okay, you talked to girl A, and then her friend B was the one that gave you her number. Am I correct? Uh, correct. Then this is what you do. Did you accept the number? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. I took it down. I got it. No. I, well, then you know what? Yeah, I want yeah, you I to call. I want you to call girl. Do you have girl B's number? Who called you and told you? Yeah, yeah. Let yeah, her well, know. Well, let her know. Thank well, you for giving me her. Sir, let her know. Thank you for giving me her number. But I don't need your help. I'm going to get it myself. You listen, this is not high school or elementary school or junior high school where you're at your locker and some girl walks up to you and say, oh, well, Julie or, or, or Tammy likes you. You've got to be a dude. You've got to pull yourself up by the bootstraps because if you are getting a number from somebody else that you're not getting from your from her by doing the work, that shows your character, man. That shows what kind of a man she's going to see you as. And what did I say early on? Women don't like men whose pussies are tighter than theirs, meaning that if you are on some emotional stuff or you're making excuses when have you, when you have opportunities, she doesn't want to be with someone like that, man. And if she's with you, she's going to disrespect you because she's going to dangle the fact that you never stood up as a man to talk to her when you had the opportunity, 703. That's back. So, so this is my plan, right? I am going to do what you just mentioned, you know, letting girl A know, hey, look, you know, I don't, you know, I mean, I, I do appreciate it, but I don't need the help. But next time I see girl B, then, you know, we're going to talk. And I'm gonna give her my number. Good. Man, you know what I mean? I Good. The, the you know the back door. You know what I mean? Right. That, Good. That, right. You know what I mean? I don't. This is listen. Mean? This is why if you were studying the approach boot camp when you started talking to her, you could. Let me ask you a question. What did y'all talk about when you when you met her for the first time? Tell me what the two of you talked about in the gym. What did you talk about? Well, the very first time I met her, we were out with like 20 other people having dinner. Okay, stop right there. I don't, I don't care if it's 100 people. Okay, but I don't, okay, but here's my question. Yeah. Were you interested in her or not? Yes or no? Not the first time I talked to her, no. All right, I'm going to let that slide. So when did you feel that you were interested in her? The second time at the gym? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, so yeah, where did y'all? Okay. Times, so yep. so what did y'all talk about? Excuse me. At the gym. Uh, a few things. Well, one, we had you know, we had a shared interest in in, in cooking. You know, I told her I bought this you know kitchen appliance, and you know she got so, to ask. So wait, wait, that. wait. So wait, wait. Let, now, 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 wait. Let me get this straight. Instead of going up to her and being one hundred with her. You think she's going to get hot and horny talking about kitchen appliances? <laughs> oh, no, I'm not, I'm not trying to be funny. Look, look, look. I'm not trying to be funny, man. I'm trying to get you to see so you don't have this doormat thinking. Do you think right. that talking about kitchen appliances, which has nothing to do with you taking her out, you putting your beard in, why were you talking about kitchen appliances? If you've been listening to me for two months, do you think I'm going to talk to her about kitchen appliances? Hell no. And if you know that, then why are you Hell doing no. it then? All right, all right. Now, you, hey, man, you exactly right. You know, I was bullshit, man. You know what I mean? Instead of getting straight to the point, right, and Ben? Right. I always stay clear, you know, concise. Yes. You know, I wasn't that. I was, you know. Man, but so, with, yeah, you, but right, fam, you know, but 703, gotta, what I'm saying, team. what I'm saying is when you act that way, you're going down the doormat, allow her to give you crumbs road because she's not recognizing you as a real man. 
Does that make any sense? So, so that makes perfect sense. So, so let me ask you: Have I lost ground? I, you I mean, lost? Oh yeah. Okay. So okay. Listen. 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 You have lost. I'm not saying you're out, but you have lost a lot of ground because she even asked you, "Were you single?" That was a Michael Joy. That was a Scottie Pippen and Michael Jordan alley you. She's asking you, "Are you single?" No, no, no. So, 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 girl, girl B, the the one who I was bullshitting with, she didn't ask me. The other, the the friend asked. Oh, me the me. friend asked you. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. So what I'm saying is, that's cool, that's cool, that's cool. what I, what I'm saying to you, fam, is what's important. Two one three. I got you. Hold on a second. Wait, wait. Hold on. Seven zero three. Stay right there. Seven three. Let me, cause I want to talk to you. I got you, fam. Hold on a second. Uh, two one three. Do you have a quick question, man? What's up? I'm just, I'm just listening to that. All right. Respect to you. If you're ready, press one. Okay. So seven zero three. What I'm saying to you is this, real quick. And guys, I see y'all in the chat room. I got y'all. What I'm saying to you, fam, is this, and this is important. And I'm trying to push this to you. Every time you don't do something or you do something that is going against being what men used to do and used to be or what nature intended you to do, you're putting yourself behind the eight ball. All right, let me give you an example, 703. All right, let me give you an example. Let's say that I met her maybe an hour or two hours before you, okay? Right? Are you following me? Okay. I meet her, shake her hand. How you doing? My name is Steve. I don't want to be rude. I just want to let you know the reason why I came over here is because you know it was something about you that attracted me. You know, you know, you uh, you don't know that I'm not gonna get through the whole post boot camp, but I'm I'm spitting yak 101, basic yak, and gang call me, okay? I'm all now what and and you okay, and okay. if you then think about this, remember I am dropping a seed in her mind. But rem what did I tell you that do I do all the work or do you do the work? Who does the work to make her want to talk to me? Uh, I do all the work. Right. Because think about this. I came her straight like a man, straight forward, right? When you approached her and when you started talking about kitchenware, okay, and not talking about what you really wanted, what were you doing? You were watering and giving the seed that I dropped on her sunlight. You were making her say, okay, well, if I got a choice between you, 703, and me, who is she going to get in touch with? She, she, she going to roll with you? But tell, me, wait, wait, but tell me why, though. You're right, but why is she going to roll with me? Well, because you caught... You, you caught her, her attention. You were intriguing. But wait, no, because I kept it 100. I didn't talk to her about pots and pans. This is who I am. Nice to meet you. This is why I came over here. And this is what I would like to do. Call me when you're free. And what I'm saying to you is, right. is where you're failing, and a lot of you fail, is because there are other guys out there that she is going to run into after you and guys she's going to run into before you. And based on what you say to her, it's going to be the determination when she has the choice of, do I call Ronnie, Bobby, Ricky, Mike, or do I call 703? Well, Ronnie was a little bit nervous. Bobby was this. Ricky was this. Uh, Mike, Mike kind of. Mike was kind of, you know, honest with me. He, Mike wasn't playing around. And then he's like, well, I remember 703. You know, he might have been cute and all that, but he really didn't tell me what his intentions were. We just talked about pots and pans. All right, so, so, so I got a question. Yes. I got a question. Yes. Right, so would it have, you know, I mean, if I would have laid down, down the, you know, the, 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 Yes. The foundation. Yes, sir. First, right. You know, yes. Got, got straight to the point. Yes. Would it be acceptable to, you know, talk about the fucking pots and pans and shit like that? No, because I don't care about the pot. OK, listen, 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 listen. The only way pots and pans, something we're going to be talking about is if I put her ass on a skillet while she ne if I'm if I'm if I'm putting her on a skillet naked 
or one one butt cheek on the skillet while I'm smashing. Or I put a pan on her head while I got her uh, bent over backwards. That's the only time we're talking about pots and pans. Or unless I'm going to cook a meal for her or she's going to cook something for me on our date. Right. Which is kind of what I was getting to. But, well, not not with her, you know. I mean, because I didn't, you know, I, I didn't make an effort to, uh, you know, ask her out or, you know, invite her over the house, right? You know, nothing. You can't. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, 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 wait. Whoa, whoa, fam. Yo, you can't. You got to remember the rule of the game, dude. She doesn't know you. Now, to me, you seem like you're a nice young man that has right. his stuff together. But I'm not dating you. I mean, you cool. You seem like you're all right with me. But I'm saying right. a woman is not just going to blindly go over somebody's house because he asked her to come over. That's a red flag. I don't even know you. I don't know if you you got dead bodies in your refrigerator. I don't know if you're creepy or weird and all. Well, you are a little weird. I won't say creepy weird, but she's like, well, if a guy likes me, why would he be talking about pots and pans? But that's here nor there. But you never, you never ask a woman to your place for the, the first date. She doesn't know you, brother. Right. Now, I'd rather just, you know, just like you said, right, you know, coffee date or something like that and then we can start to you know get to know each other better right you know i can i can make her feel comfortable with me right well i, I, I so so i feel like she is comfortable comfortable with me now i mean we've had other you know conversations you know saying besides pots and pans but i was i, I know okay but to, okay but but here know? but hear me out hear me out hear me out do you understand what you're doing for guys like me do you do you understand why i would Hell look yeah. Yeah. Right, but well, then you got to stop. You got to stop it because the more you're talking about things that have nothing to do with you being assertive and being dominant, all you're doing is you're giving her reasons why she wants to be with me. I'm not talking about pots and pans. And what else did y'all talk about? Because I know you ain't talking about dating. Wait, come on, dog. I'm not going to laugh at you. You talked about pots and pans. What else did you talk about, big dog? See, just just about uh stuff stuff in the in the gym, you know what I'm saying? Oh, you know, gym, uh, uh huh. Boy, hey, boy, let me tell you something. When she got done talking to you, she slid she was so wet and so horny by the gym and pot pans. Do you think she slid across the floor? <laughs> no, nah, man. No, man, that's my point, big dog. Mm -hmm. Every move that you make, so, so, the, the, so did what? Go ahead, go ahead. No, what I would tell you to do, now I'm what I would tell you to do is I would be honest with her. You know, when I first met you, I really, I, you know, I really wasn't interested in you. I didn't know you that well. But as I got to talk to you more from the gym, I found you more interesting and I would like to get to know you on more of an intimate level. And what I would love to do, and the reason why I like to get you know you more on an intimate level is because, you know what, you are a very attractive woman. But my question is, which is the honest truth, is does your personality match your beauty? And the only way I'm going to find that out is by taking you out for ice cream or coffee or feeding the ducks. See how simple that is? Yep. Dog, that's, that shit is real simple. But, but that's, dude, that is real. it's <laughs> so simple. You guys complicate it. You are being clear, concise, transparent, and impactful, and you're not beating around the bush like the normal guy. And 7103, check this out. If you just would have done what I told you just right there, because that's the free boot camp, advantage you. Why? Because the majority of guys are going to look at her and be intimidated by her body or intimidated by the way she looks. So they're going to be like, well, uh, well, you know, I've got the Martha Stewart uh, uh, kitchenware. And we, you know what I'm saying? She's like, well, yeah. OK, well, all right. Well, sure. OK. You see what I'm saying, man? I know what you're saying. So, so next time, you know, next time that I see her, it might be next week. because I think she's out of fucking town. But yes. I'm not gonna, you know, text her from a number that I got from. You know, well, no, no, no. I, you know, you know what? It, no, no. Okay, look, I'm gonna give you two options here. I well, first one is rip her number up. You're not gonna call her, 
what you can do is tell her to let her know to call you. Give the friend your number. Now, again, I would not recommend this, but I don't know if you're ready yet to go face-to-face with her next week. I don't know if you got that in you to do it. So you, I'm giving you two options. I don't care which one you take. You take option one and tell her, look, tell her to call me because she's out of town. And the reason why is because it's really weird and creepy for me to call somebody who I didn't ask for a number. You see what I'm saying? I don't, I don't want to be that guy. I don't want to be the weird guy because she's going to, how do you know? She's like, well, how did you get my number? And who'd you get my number from? You know, I, I don't want to be that. So if anything, well, you tell her. Well, you I can already tell you that I'm not going to roll with plan A. So, so, well, uh, so plan B. Well, <laughs> wait, wait, this, this is plan A, right? Okay, wait, is this plan B or plan A? Wait, which, which plan is this? Is this B or A? The one you just did was A. Okay, so you're not going to do that. Okay, then plan B is wait until she gets yeah, back in know. town, and when you see her, tell her you want to talk to her for a moment, and she got a second, and just let her know what I told you. Just go back and listen to this audio, man. It's all you got to do. Just be just be real with her, man. You have nothing to lose, man. Nothing. There's no lo- See, right. what makes you a doormat right now mentally and a loser in her eyes is that you're not even trying. You're trying to, it's like you're trying to backdoor and sidebar her to like you or try to find something that y'all have in common. And that's not what men do. I don't want to have anything in common with her. If we have something later on, that's fine. But the thing that I don't want to be is like everybody else that just stares at a woman from afar and sits around and waits for the next YouTube or book to tell them what to do in the gym. No, I'm not doing that, man. Right. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, you know, and like I said, man, you break shit down so easy, man, that any fucking fool can do this shit. What so, is, yes. You know. I, I'm not. Uh, that, I, but see, that's the. But here's what I'm talking about. I'm ready for the, for the plan B. Right, so, but that's I'm the. To her ass from the back in the town next week, and I'm going to just lay it down. Right, but that's the real game that was on the streets, man. When a man wanted to talk to a woman. He didn't wait. He didn't wait. Right, right. And if and, and, and we can go back to nature. I'm not saying a lion gets the zebra every time, right? I'm not saying that. But when the lion wants something, he's going to go after it. He's not going to just sit around and wait for it. What are you going to do? Open his mouth and wait for the zebra to jump in his mouth? You see what I'm saying? Nah, the world don't. The world doesn't work. Right, but but you're you're doing that right now, and that's the problem. I would rather you talk to her and her say no, and then guess where you want to mess her up. Guess what, man? And I'm gonna tell you the story real quick. And I, I see y'all guys uh, in the chat room. I got y'all as well. But what I'm saying to you is this: is that I I I talked to a chick at the gym. Now again, I don't. I didn't. I didn't. I used to go to the gym, but I didn't really like hit it hard. Okay. I talked to a girl at the gym, 703. And I'm not going to lie on me. Guess what, 703? Guess what she said? What'd you say? What do you think? I'm not interested. She said, I'm not interested. I, I went up to her. I started talking to her, 703. She told me, I'm not interested. And then guess what I said, 703? That was that, right? No, no, it wasn't that because... If you watch the approach boot camp, I told her, well, hey, that's cool. Hey, hey look, whenever you want to get away, whenever you want to have fun, whenever you want to talk, whenever you want to laugh, smile, whenever you want to do that, here's my number, call me. She took my number, but she never called me. Wasn't interested. She took my number. But check this out. So, so, no, not, not done. You went for the two nose. Right? I did go for the two nose, but check this out. She took the number, but I left her alone. But every time I saw her at the gym, <laughs> hey, how you doing, Lindsay? Oh, good. Okay, cool. And go about my way. As if nothing ever happened. Right. But right. Lindsay started to notice old Stevie boy was talking to other women. They were laughing. They were giggling. They were putting their hands on my shoulder, having a great time. 
But every time I said them and I saw Lindsay, hey, how you doing, girl? How's it, how's it going? To a point where guess what? One time I tried to talk to Lindsay and guess what she did? She ignored me completely. She ignored me completely. And what do you think I did? You did the same thing. You kept. I kept. I kept moving. Yes, I kept. I kept it pushing, and I kept talking to other women at the gym because Lindsay ain't the only woman in the world. But it wasn't that day because this is not a TV show. It wasn't two days. I would say it was like three to five days later. Guess who I get a phone call from? Good old Lindsay. Good old Lindsay. Good old Lindsay. And just like uh, I, I showed y'all guys the other day that y'all are new to this, it, it was no different from this text message I was talking about the other day. Right there, that text message. Matter of fact, if, I don't know if you're looking at the text message, but the first thing she called me was an asshole. That was the first thing she called me. Then on top of that, the message right here, like, you know, like smashing all the women in the universe. She didn't say necessary that, but she said the same thing. And let me explain that. She was like, she called me an asshole. I didn't even know who it was. I'm telling you. I'm like, who is this? Oh, you don't even know who this is? I'm like, no, who is this? Oh, this is Lindsay. Oh, hey, what's going on, girl? How you doing? What's up? How you, how's it going, girl? You know, I'm all cool, right? Oh, don't, don't give me that. <laughs> yeah. Check it out. Don't give me that. You, you effing asshole, you lied to me. And I felt like you tried to deceive me. I'm like, whoa, wait, what are you talking about? The hell you lie about? Yeah. Well, how, how is it that you like me or you say that you're interested in me and yet every time I see you in the gym, all you're doing is talking to all the other women? I said, whoa, wait, baby girl, hold on, whoa. I said, look, I gave you the opportunity. Do you think that I'm going to sit around and wait for you? She got quiet. I said, do you understand? I guess you don't know me, so and, and that's why I was trying to get to know you, but apparently you told me you wasn't interested in me, and I respect that. I'm not mad at you. I just do a thing that most guys don't do, and I move on. I don't look in the past. I don't make excuses. I move on. You said you wasn't interested, but you know what I did? I gave you an opportunity whenever you wanted to talk to me. There's my number, and this is where you are right now. Oh, but all I see you doing is talking to other women. Of course, I'm a guy. What am I? What? Am, wait, am I supposed to uh, ask her? So I, I guess I'm supposed to walk in the gym with my head held down. And every time I see you, I cower and, and, and put you on a pedestal. That's not me. Now I say, now, if you want to start this over and you want to go out and you want to have some fun with me, we can. But you can't talk to me like that anymore. Do you understand me? And she didn't say yes or no, but she got quiet. I said, so let's go ahead and ring this bell and let's talk. How can you say you like me? Well, then there's like, it was like 21 questions. Well, this is what I don't understand. I, you say you like me, again, you say you like me and you say you're interested in me, but yet you're talking to all those other women. How many of those other women are you sleeping with? How many of those other women are you seeing? Well, a few of them. And guess what? I'm being honest with her. Yeah, I'm seeing a few of them. Why would I not? <laughs> Have you met me? Right? right. right? <laughs> oh, well, see, this is why I didn't even want to talk to you in the beginning because you're one of those guys. Wait a second. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What kind of guy am I? Someone that goes after what he wants? Someone that's not afraid of rejection? Someone that can move on? And someone believes in itself? Man, see, and I, and I talked about this yesterday, 703. I talked about this yesterday. See, have you ever bet on yourself before? You know, have you ever heard anybody say that before? I bet myself. I, I, say, say, what? say that when they see a woman, they say to themselves, you know what? I bet you I'm going to get this woman in this amount of days or this amount of weeks. Betting on yourself. 
y'all have never heard that because this is game. This, this is game one on one. I bet on me all the time. When I see a woman, I'll say to myself, you know what? I bet you I'm gonna get her in about a week. I'm, I'm gonna get her. I'm, 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 I'm gonna get her to submit to me at least three days. I bet. I bet on me. I don't bet on anybody else. I bet on me. And I say, and and it was funny. I played a clip of a TV show yesterday where the guy walks in and he says, hey, you know, the top camp counselor, he said, you know what? You know what? I bet myself that I was going to get her in uh, like a, a three week, a three, uh, three months. And the guy's like, what do you mean you bet yourself? They don't even understand the game. When you have confidence and you believe in yourself, that's how arrogant you are. You make bets with yourself. You bet on you because I believe in me. And guess what? I made the so, bet so. and I failed, but I won. <laughs> When I saw her, I bet myself I'm going to get her, and I figured I was going to get her. Now, see, I wasn't th – look, I was so arrogant that I knew I was going to get her. So I'm already thinking about her being at my crib, you know, we smashing. I, I was betting on myself, say, we're going to smash within uh, two weeks. That's how I bet on myself. But guess what? I didn't win the bet. But I did win the bet. But it wasn't two weeks, though. But I, I eventually won the bet. But I bet on me because I trust me. Does that make any sense? That makes perfect sense. So I but, but yeah, man so bet on itself. Right. Yes. That's showing, like you said, the confidence. Yes. The arrogance. And yes. I mean, is that is that like like motivation? For yes, because I'm like like yeah, fam. Seven oh three. Is that doing? That is motivating him. I'm challenging myself to not only go up and talk to her, but I'm I'm betting on me getting her. I, I'm I'm betting on I, I'm a, I'm gonna get this one. I, I got this in the bag, and guess what? I didn't get her. But just because I bet on myself and lost, am I gonna wallow? Am I gonna cry? I'm hey. Remember what did they say in the streets? They are gonna charge it to the what? Game. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I'm a charger to the game, uh, meaning, yeah. meaning this 703. As long as I do what I say I'm going to do, I don't lose. Because losing is not in my vocabulary, because the only time I lose is when I don't do the thing that I want to do. But I do the things that I want to do. I'm so cocky, I'm, I make bets with myself. Now, yeah, I bet with my boys, you know, who can get her faster and stuff. But the first bet I make is with myself because I know if she makes that conscious decision to allow my little short 5'7", ugly cake ass in, it's a wrap. I bet on me. I will always bet on me first before anything else, because I know my mouthpiece is ironclad. I know my sex game is on point, and I know that she's going to run and she's never really met a man before. But guess what? She said no. She wasn't interested. She wasn't. And do you know why she wasn't interested in me? Do you know the craziest thing, why she wasn't interested in me and why she turned me down? I mean, does that matter? Oh, it fuck. Oh, it does matter. It is huge. She tells me this after we smash. Okay, she tells me why she turned me down. Because the thing that you don't understand, seven oh three. You you ready? You want me? To, are you, are you there? Okay, seven oh three. I'm ready. I'm ready. What do I tell you about the game at the club? What do I tell you to do when you go to the club or a party or any place you go? What do I tell you to do? As far as when you're approaching women? No, as far as, as you when you walk in the door, what do I tell you to do? You don't know. Uh, Just say, I don't know. Just say, I don't know. Just say, I don't know. Yeah, I, 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 all right, yeah, look, I check this know. out. I, mean, I don't care if it's a bar, a club. 
Wait, listen to me. I don't care if it's a bar, a club. I don't care if it's an environment. There, they're going to have people there, okay? It could be a bar misfa. I don't care. I am talking to the first group of women I see. I don't care. But do you know why? You don't know why. I just say, I don't know why, Steve. I mean, setting the tone. but other than No, that, I'm not. No, 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 no. That's not because I'm setting the tone. What you don't know, and a lot of guys out there don't know about the real game out there, is that what do you think the women are doing to every guy that comes into what said environment? If it's a party, bar mitzvah, club, or gym, what do you think they're doing? They turn them down and rejecting them. No, they're sizing up every guy that comes in, fam. Y'all don't see it. Okay. What they're doing is when you walk in the door of a bar, a club, a house party, or a gym, the women are looking at every guy that walks in there who can see them coming in, and they're sizing them up based off of what they do and what they don't do. Does that make any sense? That makes perfect sense. Though. So what? why do you think she turned me down? Because she wasn't used to anybody just coming in there. And no, because when she, she when she saw me, I was talking to women and making them laugh. So automatically in her mind, she thought what? Player, ladies man. He's one of those guys. Why? Because 98% of the guys that walk in the gym are looking down, holding their bags, and going right to the weights and bypassing all the women and that's what they do in the club that's what they do in parties wherever they go they do the exact same thing okay except my kind well, well i thought that i thought that before you started talking to other women she had already rejected you. no listen she rejected me because she saw listen the rejection came after i started talking to other she saw me talk to other women when I came up to her, she told me she wasn't interested because she didn't want to be, quote, unquote, one of those girls. You see what I'm saying? Right, right, right. So she right. rejected me thinking, testing me out to see if I'm going to be sad and upset. And every time I saw her, I was, hey, how you doing? And went about my way and went and talked to other women. And I kept it going. But that was her pet peeve as well because she kept throwing that in my face. See, you were already with these other women right. and all this other stuff. But what you don't understand, like, and, and, I'll, and I'll take this to a club, okay? You got three kinds of guys in the club, okay? You got the guy that's going to go to the bar, the guy that's going to go to the bathroom, or the guy that's going to hang on the wall. That's what y'all do. One of the three. And do you know what women think about those guys? The guy that goes to the bar, guess what? He needs liquid courage to talk to women. The guy that goes to the bathroom is a nervous guy. The guy that hangs on the wall is a creepy guy. They are always sizing you up. No, no matter where you come and whatever the environment is, the women are always sizing up the guys. So when I went into the gym, I, went, I always talked to the first group of women all the time. Win or draw, I don't, I don't lose. I don't lose. Does that make any sense, 703? So, so besides being the guy, besides being that guy that walks up to a, you know, the first group of women that he sees, what other guy could you be to not be, you know, the other fucking three guys? You know what I mean? Like, is there another? No, there's you know, no, no. I'm, listen, listen, besides, listen to me, listen to me. If you go to the bar, the bathroom or the wall, where else are you going to go? You're not going straight to the dance floor. You're sitting, you're you're going to walk in that club and you're going to find a place to perch on to look at the women. Creepy guy. You're going to walk in the club and be so nervous you got to go pee first before you do anything. Nervous guy. Or you're going to be the guy that wants to get a drink because you need liquid courage to calm your nerves down and talk to women. That's the guy who needs liquid courage, dog. She's already sizing you up. But the guy that walks in there and that's talks to other, right there, that's Yamin. But the guy that walks in there, that that's, 
Right, but that's what they don't teach you in these books and stuff. The guy that talks to the women, wait a second, he sets himself a, a different from everybody else. Do you want to know why? Do you know how many times, and I would say maybe 8.5 out of 10 times, okay? Not all the time. I would say 8.5 out of 10 times. When I do a club or something like that, and I'm doing what I'm telling you, and I go talk to a woman, what do you think they tell me? Oh, I saw you over there talking to those other women. They always tell me what I'm doing. How you know what I'm doing? If you ain't watching the door, how do you know what I'm right, doing? Right. <laughs> because they are watching. They right. Listen, the women are always eyeing the door. If you, take, if you just take a notice and watch them, they always they sizing up every guy based off of what he does. So the guy with the liquid courage is, is, is guess what? He's going to just talk about anything, throw shit up on the wall, right? The creepy guy is just going to stare. That's the kind of guy that's going to leave the wall and go to the dance floor and hang on the outskirts and just stare at the women like he's going to like chomp them up or eat them, right? The guy that is nervous that goes to the bathroom is a guy that's going to use the pickup lines and all that manipulated stuff because he can't stand on his own two feet, right? So what they do is they know this about you, and I'm be talking about this on Tuesday. They still invite you in. They're going to make you think that you are in control when you're not even in control. Because if you, if you feel like you're in control, they're going, it's an ego boost for you, right? So she's going to let you in, but she's going to be plucking your feathers at the same time. Because you're busy playing checkers. She's playing chess. She's got 10, 15 moves in her head. Because the guy that's going to the bar, guess what? He'll buy me a drink. The guy that goes to the bathroom, he'll buy me a drink. The guy that's on the wall, he'll buy me a drink. And what do y'all have in common that I don't have? I'm not buying you a drink because I got options. Yeah, you know I mean, right? Yeah, yeah. So what I'm saying is, is that she turned me down because she felt like she was going to be a notch or my belt. Because she saw me talk to other good-looking women. And most women don't see guys talking to good-looking women. Unless we're talking about Tupperware. What's up? Was it also too that she didn't want to compete? Right? Like, like, well, well, wait a second. When, when you look good, women. I think about this. When you look good, okay? When you look good, you normally don't have to compete. Because you have, think about it. She has... All, I mean, let's look at that girl you're talking about. How many guys do you think she got that got those guys hooked in the gym? Think about that, right? Right? Yeah, a lot of them. All right, but okay, let's 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 discuss why. Because I didn't talk about this on the other show, I on this show. Okay. Have you ever seen the movie It with the clown? Nah, I haven't. Okay. I don't like fucking clowns. Well, I well, <laughs> Okay, well, it it was about a movie. Okay, it was about a movie that was about a creature that took the form of a clown, okay? All right? Right. But just like it or the boogeyman, what do they feed off of? What do you think the boogeyman feeds off of? Uh, people being scared, man. Fear, yes. So think about you or others like you that are too fearful to be and put your bid in. So what you have done is you have gassed her up without her doing anything at all. Right. Because you're, you're, because of how, yeah, because you, you, she knows you want to sleep with her. She already knows that because you already talked to her. She knows what you want to do. But. I mean, I I'm a fucking man. I think all women. Know. No, but hear me out. But this is where it becomes door or doormat. Because you reinforce something to her that puts you in doormat status because you were about excuses and talking about not what you wanted. And I didn't say walk up to her and say, let's have sex or something like that. I'm just saying that you never put your bid in. So what happened was, like me, 
I, 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 when I got around to talking to her, yeah, I mean, and I don't know how long she was watching me talk to other women, but when I got around to her, it was a power trip to her for telling me down. She felt good, dude. She felt good about turning me down, but guess what flipped the script? You talking to other women, and you know, she, she probably wasn't expecting that, right? Well, you know, that's man. number one, but you, number you, you that's know. right, but that's number one. But number two was I didn't believe the story that she placed on me. I didn't feel rejected. She thought she had the upper hand because she shoot guys down all the time. And when she shoot them right. down, what do they do? They get mad, call her all kind of sluts and whores. When they see her, they walk the opposite way. They see her again, they just don't say right. Or they don't say, right. And guess what they're doing? They're feeding the beast. They're feeding her. Right, right. But when she turned me down because she thought I was like you guys, I threw her off because when I saw her, did I did I walk away from her? No. Did I was I did I call her mean things? No. Did I not talk? No. I spoke to her as if she was just another woman. I just spoke to her. So it didn't phase you at all. How can I phase myself when I bet on myself? I'm so arrogant. I literally, I, dude, when I saw, what, wait, wait, I, I'll play you the clip because I, I, you got to hear this, dude. You got to hear the clip. I can't, I can't play the, I can't show you the video, but I can play the audio. You got to hear it. I got the clip right here. You got to hear it. It is awesome because when I saw it, my, my, hey, my, like, I, you know, I'm bald and everything. But my mind was blown when I saw this. Look, wait, here's the clip. Let me play. Let me play. Here you go. Listen. This is a guy. Check it out. Listen. Listen. Here you go. Check it out. Here you go. Oh, there we go. Check it out. There he goes. All right. The kids are. The guy busting the door. Here we go. Listen. Uh, I'm Trevor, activities director. So technically, I'm your boss, but don't worry, I'm not going to be enforcing any of Margaret Booth's rules for God to live in. Between you and me, I bet myself 50 bucks on banger by the end of the summer. You hear that? You hear that? Between you and me, I bet yeah, myself that I would bang her by the end of the song. That's how we talk. Do, do you hear, dog, do you hear what he said? Between you and me, I bet myself that I would bang her by the end of the summer. And the other guy looks at him and says, who bets themselves? Guys like us. Because guess what? Even though he said that he was going to smash someone else, guess who he smashed? One of the counselors a few nights later. Because, <laughs> that, because women want to be with doors and not doormats. And what is a door? A door is this. Check this out. A door is this. If you're not riding with what I want, guess what? There's the... Right. If you're not, if you are giving me problems and disrespect, there's the. Lord. If you say no and you're not interested in me, there's the. Fucking door. God, that's what I'm talking about. I don't lose. I will lose bets on myself because nothing is guaranteed. But, like he said, he, as soon as you walked up to her, you had already won. I had, dude, no, 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 no. I won when I walked in the door. Do you think she's the only woman that recognized I was talking to other women? See, I didn't even mention that because that's that, that that's other women. But I didn't win when I met her. I won when I walked in the door because what I did was I stood out with trying without trying to stand out. Every guy walking in the door will walk and look at some beautiful women on the treadmill and they will look down and walk away. Come on, you've been in the gym, you've seen it, right? All the time. Because you do it yourself, right? You know when you walk in that gym. What do you see? You be like, 
Dang, look at that sexy one. Whoa, all that look, goddamn ass. right, exactly. Right, and then you go about your way, right? But you know what I do? Right. When I walk into an environment and I see it, I'm gonna go talk to her. Why? Because you don't. But what am I doing? What am I putting in her ear on her mind that you're watering and shedding light to? The seed. Planting the seed, right? The but seed. but remember that. But what makes the seed grow? The guys that don't. You make the seed. Grow. No, I don't know. I don't make the seed grow. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I remember. The other guy. Right. I plant the seed. I don't do the watering in the uh, the sunlight. Every guy that goes into the club, the bar, the bar miss for the party or the gym does that. Why? Because I'm separating myself from everybody else because he's different. Why is he talking to those women? Why is he doing what he's doing when the majority of guys notice my body? They notice me in spandex, but they're not even talking to me until they get the nerve to talk to me. And one one one, I don't. We don't take anonymous calls. You got to call in, uh, sir, with a regular number, please. Please call with a regular number. But that's what I'm saying. Does that make any sense? Yeah, man, that makes perfect sense, man. I had this fucking old uh, belief, you know, about the gym and talking to women, right? You know, what I mean, giving people they space of privacy, man. But fuck that. You know what I mean? Fuck that. No, but you that's know? but see, that's what you I'm know, saying. I walk in all the fucking time, and I see, and I see, you know, what I'm saying. Women, you know, that I want to talk to. Right, uh, but but know, guess, hey, but, hey, I, I, what, I hey, what, to, what do you I think I said to those two ladies? And, and, what, on, big dog, what did you think I said to those two ladies? What do you think uh, I said? What, say it again? What do you think I said to those two ladies? You uh, went up and uh, introduced yourself. No. Well, I did. I just went up to him and said, ladies, how you doing? My name is Steve, and I just wanted to say hello to you. Have a nice day. That was it. That was it. Right. That was it. All right, so, so you ain't even starting no conversation. You just no. Up, right? you, no. You, 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 you just planted the seed, right? Right, but think, but think about this, this. Think about how deep this game is. So every time I go back around and every time I see them and I got their names already from introducing myself without trying to pick them up, we already chatting it up already. And the women, and listen, it's, <laughs> dude, this, see, this is what they don't teach you in those goofy books and on those YouTubes because they don't know the game, man. They don't understand the intricacies of how the game works. See, that you remember that audio, the audio clip I played, right? The guy that said, I bet on myself that I'm going to smash it by the summer, right? Right? Yeah, I remember that. Right, the guy that said that, right? Well, what, 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 you, what you don't understand is that, yes, he bets on himself, but his life is not predicated or dictated by what a woman thinks. He doesn't believe the stories that because when she told, look, she shot me down. She shot me down. So. Wait, wait, let me ask you a question. When I go to McDonald's and you know that their, their, their ice cream machine never works, right? So if I go to McDonald's, right. And I want me an ice cream cone, and they tell me the ice cream machine is broken. What am I supposed to be sad, mad, upset, call her a whore and a slut, and never go back to that McDonald's again? Or do I order something? Right. Or do I order something else? Or do I go to another place that has what I want? This is no well, I different. Go to another place that has what I want. I mean, right, but you're not putting your bid in at all, brother. That's what I'm trying to get you to see. Okay, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. The important thing is, sit down. right, betting on yourself. 
that guy that walked in there and said what he said, man, man, I, I, that that's game right there. That's game. Yeah. That listen, that's from the streets. That's street stuff right there. That's street level. Right. Because every mob boss, every kingpin, no matter what color he is, every pimp, Mac, player, hustler, gigolo, and every motherfucking man, you don't think they bet on themselves first? When the outside world says that they can't do it, when they said it can't be done, who bets on themselves? Real people. Just because you can't do it, why should I have to listen to what you say? Do you see what I'm saying? I see what you're saying, bro. But that's the problem. Y'all take on the stories that you tell yourselves. You don't even, for a lot of guys, guess what? You know how many guys that's thinking, listen to this right now, are going to be listening to this later? And I'm like, what the f- bet? Who does that? Who, why, why would, why would someone bet on itself? And I ask you, why not? Because if I believe in me, yeah. why shouldn't I bet on myself? But let me ask you this question. What YouTuber yeah. or guy that writes a book has ever told you any of this game right here? Or even mentioning betting man, on yourself? Nobody, man. Nobody, man. <sighs> That's why I fucking... I used to watch a whole bunch of channels, man. I just watched yours. That's you know what, what I mean? That's what Buying I'm all saying. These goddamn courses, man. I mean, this, this shit is legit, bro. Right, but the thing I'm about the game is always legit. betting on me. I'm not going to win every bet, and that's the thing, but so what? Guess what? When I lose, is there is it there's the mat or is there's the door? Which one do you think when I lose? There's the door. Trick question. I don't lose. So there ain't nothing. I don't lose. Do you know? You that was a trick question. I got you. But do you know when I lose? I got it. You got it. You got it. I I lose when I see something I want, and I don't do anything at all. That's when I lose, and I ain't a loser. I'm not. I'm good with. Listen. You are allowed to not like me. You're allowed to say you're not interested. You're allowed to say no. And you're allowed to say fuck off. And you're allowed to say I'm married. And you're allowed to say I'm in a relationship. She's allowed to say whatever she wants. But let me ask you this question. Is it any of my business what she says? Uh, I would say no. Exactly. Look, other than yes, everything else is now my business. Either you look, look and, yeah, and, and, it don't matter. And, boy, I, 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 I just, I just don't understand man. that you just nailed it on the head. If you are not down, okay, whatever you say is not my business. But let me seven oh three. What do people do? They take on the business and the story of why she doesn't want them. Thus, they carry that on to the next woman. Well, this one turned me down, so you know what? I'm not going to talk to any other women. <laughs> I, you, I, I, I guess I'm not. Because I learned when I was nine years old that no means go and find the other one that will. Why would I waste my time begging somebody that's, listen, you said no. But see, here's the thing that got her. Because when she said no to me, right, Yami, she didn't have any power over me. She expected me not to talk to her. She expected me to run away from her or say bad things about her. But what threw her off was that I talk to her the same way I talked to her before I tried to put my bid in. Nothing changed. The only thing that changed right. is that, you know what? She wasn't worth my time anymore. So I put it to something else. But I'm the asshole. I, I'm the asshole. 
and I'm the one that's the bad guy because I moved on to talk to other women that were interested in me. But I'm the bad guy, right? Well, boo fucking who? Well, hey, 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 dog, that's a dog, dog. Boo fucking who? There's a door. You see what I'm saying? That's the power. Yeah, man. <laughs> There's the door. Yeah. I'm not, my door is an open door because you know what? I learn from the experiences and I move on. I don't hold them in. But what a lot of guys don't understand is when they locked in and they don't really believe in themselves. They don't do what they say they're going to do, man. They say they want to do something. And look, guess what? How can you keep a promise to a woman when you can't even keep a promise to yourself, dog? You know what I mean? Yeah. How are you going to follow through with anything with a woman when you can't even follow through for your own self? It ain't going to happen, bro. It's it not going to, no, it's not, it's not supposed to happen. And when they do that, all I ask them to do is make sure when they pour the water on my seed, make sure you kind of twist your, your, your arm, twist your wrist a little bit. And when you put the sunlight, make sure you hold the curtains wide enough so I can get enough sunlight so I can grow faster in her mind. I'm not trying to stop you from not doing if you if you don't want to do what you don't want to do. I'm not here to stop you. But you don't. But wait a second. Do you think I'm the only one that knows what you are? Nah, nah, you ain't the only one. Who else knows? I mean, other men. She knows. She knows. Not other men. She knows. She knows. She knows. Because if you're coming at her scared, she's got she's she's already got you in checkmate. Look, 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 let me tell you how crazy this sound. She got you playing checkers and she got you in checkmate in checkers. That's how crazy it is. You you already done. So you are you ain't playing the same game as she is. Right, you ain't look, you ain't even playing the same game as her, but she already has you in checkmate before you even know it. Bro, that's fucking double, triple negative, huh? Yeah, well, that gives them the advantage to give you crumbs. Well, you know, mate, well, I guess you can take me out. Well, you know, you got to prove yourself to me and and you got to kiss my ass and you got to rip off your spine and you've got to apologize and you've got to compromise. You got to walk on eggshells. Yeah. So I can walk all over you like you're what? A door? A like a mat. Right. And what do you do to a doormat? So that's how I felt. You know what? What's up? That's how I felt. Well, that is how I feel when the friend texted me. I felt like she was giving me fucking crumbs. Because maybe the friend saw me like, damn, nigga. You know what I mean? You right. Well, that, man, yeah. Well, I, that, that's you know what, what I'm Right. That's what I'm saying. You got crumbs. You got crumbs. And the worst part is you accepted the crumbs. Where was the part of you saying, you yeah, know what, yeah, that's, I hey, that I would do it. right, you know what's cool, be like, you know what, I appreciate what you're saying, here's my number, tell her to call me, and if she doesn't, I'll get at her when I see her when she get back in town, yeah, I mean, that's it, that's it, yeah. Yeah. then you yeah. have the high ground, back in town, you know? right, but you need to, you, listen, yeah. listen, listen, you got to understand these women work together. Old girl has already told her that, you know what? Okay, I gave him my number. Let's wait for him to call me. Okay, well, here's the plan. Yep. All right? No, 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 no. When you get off with Uncle Dean, you get back in touch with old girl and tell her, you know what? I threw her number away because if I want to, if I'm going to get with her, I'm going to do it myself. But if you, if she wants to call me while she's out of town, here's my number. And that's it. 
And then when she tells her that, guess what's going to happen? Whoa. Where did that guy come from? Because I remember we were talking about pots and pans. Yes, exactly. So either they she's going to. That shit on lock. That shit was a fucking plan. I see that shit as a fucking plan. Right, because, because you were playing checkers. That, you know what I'm saying? Right, you were playing checkers. Yeah. yeah. So when, yeah. Yeah. When, when she saw that, they were playing you. But now that you're saying, hey, you know what? I'm going to give you my number and tell her to call me. Guess, guess what's so beautiful about that? Guess what you can start with when you see her next week? You don't even know. Um, you don't even see it. Oh, my God. I don't know. Oh, my God. I, 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 dude, that's what I'm saying. You got to look. You got to start playing chess to see the moves. Think about this. You're going to tell her to give her a number, and she might not call you. But So when I see her next time, oh, oh, I see how it is. I gave your friend my number to call me while you're on vacation or while you're out of town so I can give you some mental stimulation to give you something to look forward to when you got back here, but you didn't call me. So now you owe me one. When are you taking me out to dinner? Because, see, I tried to give you my number with your girl instead of taking yours, but yet you, uh, I, I got a bone to pick with you. But you're doing that out of fun. <laughs> see that? You're even la- – look, look, look. I like if- that. If you're laughing for, if you're laughing with it, what you think she's gonna do? She's gonna be laughing too. And then I, I, I got you. Now you got to go back and listen to this because I got your back. I'm gonna give you one in the chamber because what she's gonna do next is she's gonna test you. Well, if that's the case, then why didn't you say something to me when we saw each other weeks ago when you had the opportunity? What are you going to say? I'm going to give you the answer, but what do you say about that? Because I don't want you getting stomped. So what do you say when she says that to you? Uh, so Just, when she said, man, I'm, I'm going to say, uh, <laughs> look, you know. Uh, boom, 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 I mean, boom, boom, kind of bram. Nope. Nope. You know what I mean? Nope. I'm here. Huh? Nope. That's not going to work. I, uh, two plus two is four. Remember, I'm simplifying this. Don't complicate this more than what it seems. Yeah. Yes, I took a while to do it, but let me tell you why. The reason is this. When I first saw you, Yamin goes back to the approach boot camp. Yes, it was your smile that caught my eye. Yeah, you look very attractive. But to me, I'm not just about body. I needed to know if your personality matched your looks. That's going to blow her mind away because who says that kind of stuff? Who is arrogant enough? Right. Who is arrogant enough to tell a beautiful looking woman that, yeah, you look good, but does your personality match your beauty? You know who tells a woman that? A guy that bets on himself. Because guess what? I ain't got nothing to lose. Man, everything to gain. Y'all you know I mean? Nah, I man. I guess. You so you got one in the chamber because she's going to ask you. It. It's going to come up. Why didn't you talk to me before? Why are you waiting till right now? And that's all you got to say, and you're covered. Because is it not transparent, Damn. impactful, and clear and concise? Is it not? Yes, it is. Right here. And guess what it does? It puts her in a position to have to prove that she her personality matches her looks. And if you want to go deeper, let's be honest. I talk to beautiful women all the time. And guess what? Their personality doesn't match their looks. Because they feel like they're entitled to everything just because they look good. And that's not the kind of woman, you ready for this? That I want. Yep. Yeah, you know I mean. But, but, and I will tie in that cupcake conversation. But after time, after talking to you about the pots and pans and the the, the weight stuff, that you know, that, that stuff you should never talk about. 
I started to know things about you, but I wanted to know what was deeper about you. I wanted to know what makes you smile. I was curious to know what makes you laugh. I wanted to pull the curtain back, and I want to know what kind of music you would listen to to dance in the rain. Yeah, you know I mean, see how deep that is. Is that not clear, concise, transparent, and impactful? Yes, it is. Who said that's, that's that yak? But who says that? A guy that bets on himself. That's on itself. That's yes. Because I'm not blowing smoke up your tail. I'm just telling you that, look, you're beautiful. Yes, you got a great looking body. Yes, but so what? Guess what? She's got a good looking body and she has one and she has one and, oh, wait, she's got one. And all those women that's going into that, uh, that cycling class, body, 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 body. Oh, wait, and she's got a body and she's got a body. So what separates you from all the other zebras, elks, oxes, and other um, boars? You see what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. But, but beautiful, good-looking women are never put in that position, right? Because right. she is never matched up with somebody that plays super chess. See, she plays chess. Have you ever watched Star Trek, the old one with Kirk and Spock? No, I never watched. Okay. <sighs> let me show y'all guys that's watching live. Hold on. I see y'all chopping it up. But uh, hold on. Let me see if there's any other calls. We chopping it up. And guys, y'all want to call in. Y'all can't call in. But what I'm saying is this. Guys, y'all can call in. We've got 12 minutes left. But y'all can't call in. But let me show you something, guys, that's watching while I tell you this. Because I want you to see. She's playing chess. Now, think about this. Now, a regular chess board is what? A chess board, right? With the chess pieces. Am I correct? Right. Okay. Right. All right. Well, let me show you what I'm playing. Now, remember, I bet on me, right? Right? Right. Okay. Hold on. I'm going to show you. Hold on. Uh, all right, all right, all right. Here we go. I'm gonna show everybody in the room what I. What, let me show you. Let me tell you what kind of chess I play. Now, remember, she plays the regular. She plays the regular. Um, you know, one one chess board, right? Right. But let me let me show you with old uh, oh, the guy that bets on himself. Shoot, hold on, shoot. I just passed it up. Let me open it up. Okay, let me blow it up. For y'all that are looking live, this is what I'm playing. See. I'm playing the chessboard that has three or four levels and layers to it. You see that, guys? That's the chess game I'm playing. I'm not just playing on one board. I'm playing on several boards at the same time. That's how deep the game is, young man. See, most people are teaching you, okay, this is a checker, right? And this is how you move one checker. You slide it from this to that. That's all they're teaching you through those YouTubes and books. But how are you going to defeat an opponent that's already got you in checkmate? Why are you busy trying to figure out what one checker is? She knows the whole board. Does that make any sense? That makes perfect sense. But when she meets a guy that bets on himself and she sees a three or four level chess board, what does she revert back to? What do you think she reverts back to? Fucking checkers. Yeah, you go. Yes. But why does she revert back to checkers? Um, Be I'll tell you, I'll tell you because she doesn't know okay. man. She knows the game of the doormat, but there's no, there's no code to the door. There's no code to a man. She can't figure out a man because what is she? A 
woman. Yeah, say it now. Let's say it again. How can she know a man when she's a woman? Think about that. What woman knows a man? They don't. But do you see why women? Do you see why women know other? Right, but do you see why women know their own when they recognize emotional blaming, victim, drama, fearful, insecure, making excuses? They know their own, dude, because that's what they are. So when you come to her talking about dishes and pots and pans, are you speaking to her as a door? Yeah, I mean a man that she cannot understand, or are you talking her language of a doormat? Talking her language there. Right. So who controls the board at that point? She does. Right. She controls the board. Be and, and it's because of your what? What are you giving her? What are you gassing her up on? Already, I mean, no what, what, fear, what she, fear, young man, fear. Your fear, fears fear, and fear. insecurities are her source of strength. Why do you think she doesn't have strength around a man? Because I'm not giving her no strength. What am I? <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <laughs> do you think I'm giving her compromising? You think I'm a compromise? Nah. No, but you will. Do you think I'm going to uh, give her my spine and my balls? Hell no. No, nah, but y'all do. do. Do you think I'm going to hand over my respect like Halloween candy? Nope. And last but not least, you know I'm betting on me, right? Right? Right. But what do y'all bet on? Well, it's got to be the perfect day. The sun has to be 45 degrees to the west. Um, Jupiter Moon has to be, stars, right, Jupiter has to be this way. And and then we need uh, Haley's Comet to come around on the coast of Africa. We also need. I, I need the jaguar somewhere in the in the forest to bite them up. You see what I'm saying? You betting on everything yeah. else except yourself, and that's why. That's up, right, and that's where y'all lose at. A woman submits to man. You gotta us. Uh, you gotta submit to your opponent. That's greater than you. And I didn't stutter. Let me say that again. Now, I'm not, I'm not one to go biblical, but is there anything in, in that Bible that says woman over man? Uh, I don't know the Bible like that neither, but I don't think so. I don't think so either. I think it says men, men over. Man, oh, listen. A, a woman must. Man over, over all things. Man. man over all things. Right. right? Man leads. Right. Man over all things, right? But when you. He's a man, but yeah. Right, when he's a man. But how can you call yourself a man when you don't even believe in yourself enough to walk over and present yourself? To a, you ready? A woman. Something below you. Come on, man. This game is deep, man. In that case, you ain't been a man. Yeah. Right. Yeah, but, yeah. but here's the thing. Who teaches you that nowadays in this worldwide web of lies and fake books? Because the people that are teaching you are not going back to before electricity and fire, before the internet. Men were men. <laughs> hey, look, 
Was a lion a lion back in 14 AD? A lion was always a lion. Right, right. So was a lion a lion in 14 AD? Yes. Was a lion a lion in 24 BC? Yes. Was a lion a lion in 1347? Yep. Was a lion a lion in 1684? Yes, was. was a lion a lion in 1986? Yeah. Was a lion a lion in 2019? Yes. And what and, and is a lion a lion in the year 9457? Yeah. So where am I getting at? A lion is always going to be a lion regardless of how the world changes. Because regardless of how the world changes, the rules of nature are always going to apply. Women are right. going to submit to the dominant what? Male. Man, not male. Man, excuse me. That's the rule. Yeah. It, listen, excuse me. Let's take out lion and put butterfly. Put moth. Dragonfly. Monkey. Alligator, giraffe, hippopotamus, hyena. The female is going to submit to the top. You can put whatever you want in there. That's the law of nature, correct? Yeah. The top correct. snake, the top bunny rabbit, yo, the top goldfish. The top turtle, even if you're prey, you still can be the top of that food chain. The top uh, rooster, excuse me, I'm about to say chicken. The top rooster. The top roach. Do you see what I'm getting at? The world is going to change around you. And what do you hear the excuses? Y'all don't know. See, y'all old heads don't understand nowadays that the game has changed. Women are different. Right, dude, the game has never changed. Everything else around changes. But what does a man do? But the game always stays the same, man. The game. Yep, yep. And what can't you cheat that they have been doing? Cheating the game. Nitpicking at the game. Finding yeah. small pieces of the game, and then they want to take it and call it game. And they don't even understand the game. Yeah, that's, they, dude, they, they, that's the same they, thing they, Elvis, they, dude, and I'm not, this ain't, listen. That's the same thing Elvis Presley did. He didn't learn rock and roll and shoot moving his hips because he woke up one day and started doing it. No, he went to the black churches. He crossed the street and saw, um, I forgot the black guitarist. Uh, I forgot his name. Uh, I forgot his name. I can't get it top of my head. He noticed that blacks were moving different and he picked up little pieces of it took it back across the street, and he called it rock and roll. That was it. (laughs) It's the same thing people are doing today. They will go to the street, and they will observe a few things. They will take a few notes, and then they will. Hey, and here's the crazy thing about you. Ready about this? There is nothing new. Un- if, hey, listen, if it's under the sun, okay, there's nothing new. There's nothing new. But you want to know what makes it new to those guys? What's that? When they cheat it. It becomes brand new and never heard of before. Because if it's heard of, if it's never been heard of before, it ain't the game. That's the point. 
when you have all these factions, Mectow and Voice for Men and, you know, being asexual, cuddle parties and, and, and uh, a, I'm an AFC, I'm an LTR, I'm a this and that, I'm a neg and all that. Why do you think it's brand new, 703? Because it's not the game. Because there's nothing new under the sun when it comes to the game. But what these guys do is they will take a cup and call it a, I don't know, a knife and try to make it new when it's a cup all alone. Does that make any sense? It makes perfect sense, man. But that's the problem. Take something that's, you know, that, that that's is, already right. They try to take something that will never change and they <laughs> add their own little twist. Right, and, and try to call it. it. Yeah, and you then, go. You know, whatever the fuck they call it. Yes. And that's what's sucking in most of these guys. Why do you think they still having problems now with women? Why? Because like, like, and I'm gonna use my dog Abdullah. I, I love you, Abdullah, but I'm using as a, as a, as an example. How many times do I tell you guys when you watching YouTube's and reading books, all you're doing is taking a baseball and putting it on a tee? So let me ask you a question, seven hundred three. If you put a baseball on a tee and you swing a bat. And you swing it a hundred times. How many times are you gonna hit that ball? Gonna hit it every fucking time. Right, you gonna hit it every time. And if you hit it every time, what is the lie that you are gonna tell yourself? Hey, I know baseball, right? Right. Right. I right. hey, I know baseball, and not only do I know baseball, I can hit a ball. Boy, I can smack a ball far. Right. Right. But what happens when he decides to go out of his house and on a baseball field in front of a pitcher that can that can strike him up with an underhand pitch? I didn't even say anything else. Pitching it underhand. Does he really know baseball? Nah. He's gonna find out. He's gonna find out how Right. He's gonna find out the hard truth. How it really is. But, really is. but but yeah. what do you think is wait what do you think he does so if he's been lying to himself all this time thinking he knows baseball what do you think he's gonna do oh well the wind got in my eye it was the lighting it was the grass it was the ball well my I, my my rotator cup wasn't uh the cup that i put it between my legs it wasn't tight enough it was the bat it was the glove it, you see what i'm saying doesn't that sound like people so he starts altering what it really is? Yes. In his At... mind, he's telling himself all this different <laughs> shit to try and you know, right. make it seem like, you know, he still got a handle on He it. makes it seem like it's everybody else's fault but his own. Because when I was in my house, I was batting a thousand, right? I put that ball in that right. tee a million times and I hit it a million times. But today when I got outside, oh no, I just wasn't into it. You know, it just wasn't my day. It, it, I just didn't grab the bat hard. Right. That's the problem that we are having today because mo people don't understand what manhood really is. They think it's about taking a ball and putting it on a tee and swinging it from the comfort, keyword, the comfort of your own home. Not what it is. Last Not thing I'm going to tell you. You got to step outside and then you really see how, how, right. you know, how the shit treats you. Right, but last thing, because I got I to gotta answer a lot of these emails. Guys, right? I got y'all on the messages and stuff. But the last thing I want to tell you is, you hey, look, I, I can prove the point to you right now. I can prove it to you right now what I'm talking about. Just look around. Do you see a book or a magazine in front of you? Any, no, I'm in the car. But no. do you, uh, open up your glove compartment. You don't have a, a, a book or something in there? There's got to be some kind of a, 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 a guide or something. Well, not in this used piece of shit, but uh, I see what you. I see where you're going. You don't have any notebooks, notepads, or anything. I mean, I got a piece of paper over this motherfucker. All right, fold the paper in in half. 
Alright, hold up. Alright, I got the piece of paper. Now what I want you to do is hold grab grab gra hey, grab the edge grab the edge of one side of that paper, right? And this is what I want you to do. I want you to open it and close it five times. Now let me ask you this question. H how much energy was involved in you doing that? Energy, not a lot. Yeah. None whatsoever, right? It felt the same. Right, it felt the same, right? Right. But for most guys, because they can do that with a book and turn a page and read some bullshit-ass jargon, they think they know kung fu, or they think they know how to drive, or they think they know how to hit a ball. They, they think they get ready for this, how to be a man, or talk to women. Because they had the strength to open up a page and turn it. But put them outside with, in front of a woman. What do you think happens? Well, you put them out in front of a woman, then uh, they're gonna do exactly what you did. It ain't gonna be. right because you were trying to figure. Right? Does that make any sense? That makes sense. That makes sense. That that didn't take you know a lot of effort there, right? But like you said, you put us out in front of a woman, and you know, and, and you talk about pots person, and pans, you know, not, yeah. right? But you'll talk about pots and pans, right? You see what right. I'm saying? Instead of talking about what you want to talk about, you talk about what pots and pans, right? Does that make any sense? Right. So that's all I'm saying. That makes sense. Pots and pants, bro. All right, I got a laundry list of guys. I know guys I, who made messages. I got y'all guys. I'm going to uh, answer. I'm gonna scroll down and answer all y'all stuff y'all have. But okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up with you. Something, but you can stay on if you want. But I hope you understand where I'm coming from, man. I'm trying. I'm trying to get you to see that you've got to start messing with guys that are doors and not teaching you how to be more of a doormat. Yeah, nah, you you right, bro. You know, like you know, like I said, that's why I fucking, you know, I watch your channel. You know, what I mean, I got all these products, man. I'ma dive into them and keep diving into them. You know, applying them to fucking life. No, because you know, like you said, nobody else on this platform, man, is doing this shit. The shit that you doing, nobody's doing it. Halloween, hey, the Halloween game. Nobody. Who do you know? Who do you know is setting you up for women on Halloween weekend? Who do you know? I ain't never heard. I ain't never heard. A no damn Halloween game until I fucking what? But 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 again, but, but, but again, game recognized game, Dad. Game recognized game, right? If you had right. game, right. then why ain't they telling you about the Halloween game? If these guys had game and pull women, why ain't they telling you about Halloween? Or why ain't they telling you about um Valentine's Day? Or why ain't they telling you about Easter? Come on. Cause they don't know. Game recognized game, man. They Come don't know on. All the possibilities, man. Because they don't know all the possibilities. Man. Because they maybe know. what they One think is the line, you know? right, but maybe what they think is a game ain't the game at all. Cause if that's you, why I'm here, fam. Cause if, saying, cause you know, that's hey. I really wasn't learning. Right, but Halloween, Valentine's Day, and Easter. That game was done before the internet even stepped off. That was done before right. the internet hit. I was doing that when I was like 17, 18, 19 on up. I was doing that at when I was a young buck. And that's before the internet. Something to think about, yeah, okay? That's the next level game, man. But no, it that's listen, it's not yeah. like it is just the game. It's not next level. The game is not anything but a, a strong current that's going up. That's all it is. It's going upwards. Right, right. I'm not manipulating it. I'm not changing it. I'm trying to simplify it to let you realize and think. That these guys are, there's not one book to tell you to bet on yourself. There's not one YouTuber that's telling you to do that. Nobody's doing that. But remember, the blind are going to follow the blind 
and they will remain blind because they believe in the bullshit that they think is game. Yep, I fall victim to that plenty of times, man. And, yeah, and, and it's and it's no, no and it, you know what I mean? right, and it's no knock. I'm trying to be the fucking game. Right, right, right. Remember, you don't want to fit in the box, and you don't want to fit out of the box. You want to be the box. Yeah, I mean, there you go, fam. All right, so let me go ahead and let you go. As I answer these questions before I wrap things up, but but you're good to go. So what I want you to do, seven oh three, go back and listen to this. <coughs> Excuse me, and write everything down, okay? <coughs> so with the first thing, order of business, tell old girl that you want to um, have her call you. And if she doesn't call you when you see her, just follow the steps that we did, okay? I laid it out perfectly for you. Yep. Just follow the playbook. It's not complicated, yes, okay? I'm not trying to reinvent the wheel here. That's the problem. The wheel worked in the right. olden days, and it guess what? It works in the computer age, right? Right? Right. So why do you want to make it a square or a triangle when it works fine? You see what I'm saying? Yep. That's how deep this is. All right. So anyway, let me go and let you go because I got to grab. I, I see a bunch of people been talking. I got. I don't want to make them feel like I'm ignoring them. So let me go ahead and grab that. And I'll keep you on if you want. All right, man. Keep, keep doing what you're doing, man. Respect. I everything you're doing, man. All right, respect, Appreciate man. That. And and we'll holler at you later, brother. Respect to you, All man. Right. All right, guys. All right, the line's are down, so let me All go right, to the man. emails. All right, peace out, brother. Okay, here we go. All right, let's go to uh, – let me keep going. All right, I'm just saying it. Let me go right there. All right, what more you need to know? You either are attracted to or you're not. Uh, just ask her out already. Scott, you're absolutely right. Uh, like I'm not asking you how to proceed, Steve. I'm just appreciate sound advice. You give me oh, most love to you, dog. Yeah, yeah, you fucks with me. I know you do, dog. I fucks with you. I do, I'm doing it. We good, dog. We good, man. We good. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Quick fix. Yeah. Well, he's looking for a quick fix. Yes. I'm bullshitting, but some real talk about file back cousin. Do respect. All right, we got that. All right, she might, she might, she might. LOL. I'm scrolling down. Let's see here. Making it easy for for uh, stand up dudes, but self realization is important for growth. Good for you calling in. Yeah, I love that call. I love that man. I love that man. I, I Abdul, I can't chill. You know, I got to call a man a man, dog. I got to see what's what. Uh, let me see. What if she says no? Take me to juicy crab on our first date. Oh, what if she says no to you and take me to Juicy Crab on our first date? Alpha, as long as you've been listening to me, you shouldn't be asking me this question. So what I'm going to tell you to do is go on the date, dog. Go expend as much money as you want because apparently you're not listening to the basic stuff that I teach you. I, I tell you the basics. I tell you never to take a goddamn woman out to dinner. But since you don't want to listen to me, you take her out to the crab place. You take her out. Uh, let me see. Uh, another alpha. Steve, I should have been doing it, but I just started doing the approach of boot camp two days ago. I shut it a couple of times. Well, that's a, wait, but alpha, you've been listening. You've been listening to my shows way too long to give me an excuse that you just been doing it. So you failed. Let me keep going. Uh, Kevin, man, it sounds simple. D Kevin, it is simple. It is as simple as turn on the light switch, sir. Uh, they want submissive ladies, man. LOL. What do you think about that, Steve? Uh, submissive ladies. Yeah, they do want that, but you're not going to be submissive unless you're a man. A woman submits to a man. Okay, Abdullah. Uh, okay, let's see here. Um, I'm going to the club right now. I don't have no cards. It's your fault because if you were listening to me, you should have got your cards. Okay, LOL, Steve. The hype is right now. Go ahead, bull. Okay, all right, let's go right here. Uh, George, uh, the MF game, mother game. Yeah, I mean, my friend bet that he could get this girl at the mall who worked at the Chick-fil-A and five years later, he married her. See, just your brother. When you bet on yourself, it doesn't have to happen right then and there. Respect to you. Just your brother. Um, yep. Steve, please answer me this. What about a chick that has been conditioned to think that she doesn't lose? So. All right, then, Abdul, let me ask you this question. What do you think about an ant that's walking on the floor somewhere in the Amazon? Okay, wait, let me change that up. What do you think about uh, a hyena that's walking somewhere in Africa? What do you think about a seal that's swimming in the ocean? 
What does it have to do with me? It's none of my business, Abdullah. That's what I keep trying to tell you. It's none of my business what she thinks. I don't care what she thinks, man. That's y'all's problem. Let's keep going. Uh, let's see here. Uh, Kevin, facts. Okay, I like that. I'm just going down, guys. Uh, let's see here. Um, but if she actually sees you screwing up with one of those women, you miss you uh miss you miss well leave. Might as well leave. No. Uh uh-uh, uh, no. Thank you, George. Just sit down, sir. Thank you. Um, let's see here. Uh, here we go. Um, what about the IG call you buddy, doll, or cutie when you approach her at the club? What about the IG, the call you buddy, doll, or I don't understand what you mean right there. You lost me. Uh, Abdullah, you're trying to rap. All right, uh, Abdullah, you you're a rapper now. Not creep, Steve Peep. Okay, that that that's rap. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Uh, success. If I had Steve's Jack game, I'd be ten times more. Well, yeah. I mean, that's. But the game is you, dog. It's how you feel about yourself, Abdullah. Yeah, I mean, back at you. That's game. Okay. Uh, let's see here, George. Let's see. This is true. Spoke Yak to some chicks after the club. They all said I didn't see you at the club. The club was packed, but they were right. They never went to club. Okay. Kevin says game. Out of all the YouTube videos I saw, this is the most game I've ever gotten. Kevin, welcome to the welcome. Welcome, Kevin. Yes, you're right. Fear is one of the things that gives women power. If you take the power, and and Kevin, I want you to do something while you're listening to me, Kevin, real quick. Because I'm trying to wrap this up. Kevin, just go find a quarter. Go find a quarter and hold it up. And remember, that's her power base. You putting your your stuff in something no bigger than the size of a quarter. But if you take the power out of that quarter, she can't tell you what to do. Uh, Let's see here. To Fitzroy Joy, they on another level. Well, we ain't on another level. We just, we just men, dog. That's, that's what y'all, that's what y'all, y'all, y'all get to see, man. Yeah. You tell them 21 surfer. Yeah. I mean, man, that's my dog. Don't let the door hit you in your ass. Real, real deal. Uh, let's see here. Wow, like uh, you brought that together, Unc. No doubt. Uh, Shadow Gal Cheese in check. All right, thank you, dog. Uh, let's see here. Um, how can let me see? Hum, how can I be super effeminate right now? I don't understand what you mean by that. Grassing lines, yeah. Cupcakes. I do cardio, bunny workouts, and my bandana slim. Oh my god, I'm not even going to dance. I'm not. Let me keep reading. Okay. Um, yeah, Surfer, be yourself. Best best bet in the house. Yes, 21 Surfer, you're absolutely true. When you believe in yourself, you can be yourself. Yes. Okay. Uh, hello, my name is Kenneth. I just wanted to say hello to all you all. Have a nice day. That's it. Oh, absolutely. When you walk into a club, lady. No, 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 Alpha. When I'm in a club, I'm walking over to the lady and say, who's buying me a drink? Because I don't care what they say. They can laugh and tell me to get out. No, the way the women are not, the women cannot hear what is going on because guess what? The music is blasting. But what they're going to notice is there is one guy talking to women while he walks in. I'm just asking who's going to buy me um a drink. That's it. Yeah, you know I mean. All right, Kevin, thank you for the $4.99. Much love. Got to learn how to speak backwards. Okay. 20 steps ahead. Yes, sir. Kevin, thank you again. 199. Appreciate you, dog. Much love to you, man. Dog, that's all we try to do is make perfect sense. And I love those oh my God moments, Kevin, because that's when you have the light bulb over your head and you realize that the game that I'm showing you is authentic. There's no nooks and crannies. I'm not trying to sophisticate it. I'm simplifying it adapt yes chuck berry thank you yes i think it was chuck berry kevin yes elvis learned rock and roll from chuck berry but he took it as his own and people think chuck berry's not the, the guy rocking you're right thank you uh kevin much love to you cuddle parties i like that uh let's see here um let's see i need the jaguar to bite the monkey <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, Kevin, what is the Halloween game? The Halloween game is, I have figured this out before the internet, a way, see, I'll, I'll, I'll explain to you real quick, Kevin. Halloween is the only time of the year where women get to dress like sluts and whores and get away with it. It is the only time of the year that a good girl accountant or someone good can show off her body. Now, they do that now with cosplay. Okay, now, if you're a gamer, you understand that. Cosplay is when they dress up uh, like they're anime characters and they dress kind of sexy or sci-fi. But Halloween, before cosplay, Halloween was the only time a woman, especially college girls, get to show off skin and get away with it without being judged by anybody. So what I figured out before the internet and before YouTube was there is a way to, to go to a Halloween costume party for adults to not show off your costume, but to show women that you have a sense of adventure, that you have imagination, and that you're creative, and at the same time, pick them up, and at the same time, have them come to you without you doing anything at all. All you're doing is walking around the club, and women are going to come to you. Women are going to grab your hand and say, come over here, I want you to meet my friend. This is the only time that you get to do this. So I have figured it out, yeah, I mean, before the internet, of how this works. And not only do I have a, listen, let me show you how cold your boy is. When you go to the manmindset.com and you click on the Halloween picture, first thing you're going to see is understanding what the Halloween game is about, why it's important to be adventurous, creative, and have imagination. And then underneath that, you're going to have testimonials of guys that did it. I'm not making it up. You're going to have testimonials of the guys that did it. And then underneath that, I am walking you through every bit from how you create it to what you do when you first see her, to what you say, to why you twirl her around, and why you give her your business card on the last card. And then, Kevin, not only that, on the 22nd, which is a Thursday or Monday, I think it's a third Tuesday, excuse me. All you do is have to call in and say, Steve, I'm at this area code. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you an option. Do you want to take the costume and go to a swingers club Halloween ball where they're having sex? Or do you want to take it and go to a regular club? You let me know and I'm going to do the work for you. I'm going to look up Halloween parties in your area. So I'm doing all the work. All you have to do is show up. Who is doing that? Who is doing all the work for you? Nobody. I'm doing all the work for you. And all you got to do is show up. That, my friends, is the Halloween game. Jay Love, that's the real talk. There's nothing new unsung. Let's go to Alpha real quick. Alpha says, what to say to a group of women? Hello, my name is Kenny. I just wanted to say hello to you all. Have a nice day. Well, you say, hey, buy me a drink, man. Uh, uh, Junior, Steve, my agent Smith has finally started working for me. When I um, uh, when I want to approach, my mind asked me what er Yet, yeah, Junior, I love it. Junior, I love it. Let me tell you why. That's how it works. Guys, i tell you this real quick. Check this out. What he just said right there is no different from you asking yourself, what do you want to eat? It's no different when you ask yourself I'm th or say to yourself, I'm thirsty. When you get in the car and say, what's my fastest route to get to where I want to go? That's what happens right there, Junior. That right there. There's something inside of you that says, you know what? What are we going to do? Do you want to attack from land, sea, or air? 
after you smile, do you want to make her laugh first? Do you want to make her blush first? How do you want to do this? Because we about to eat. Let's go. Come on. I believe in you. Don't bet on the house. Don't bet on the DJ. Don't bet on the music. Don't bet on this is the moment. Bet on us. I believe in you. Let's bet on us. Let's go over there and put our bid in. Win, learn, or draw. You're welcome, dog. Much love to you. Wayne, I almost ripped my insurance whiskey. <laughs> Nemesis, I appreciate it. Hey, Nemesis, I appreciate what you're saying. But I am just a man. I'm nothing special, dog. There's nothing special about me. The only thing is, is what I'm trying to teach you guys is this was going on before the internet ever kicked off. So that means before the, the quote unquote game and mystery method and wearing goggles and nagging and, and pegging and all that other stuff that y'all were doing, men were getting women by just standing on their name. My name is what I bet on. I don't bet on anybody else. I don't bet on Johnsons and Washingtons. I don't bet on Mr. Scott and Mr. Davison. I don't bet on Mr. Charles or Mr. Johnson. No, I bet on me. And that's all I got is my name. So that means when I present myself to her, she's going to know what a Williams is. Yeah, me. All right, let's go here. Yo, let's say, man, how you doing, man? Dominic, how you do? Welcome. Found out about the red pill today. Don't know where to start. Hey, welcome to it, man. And if you want to learn how to start, my brother, the man mindset at gmail.com, the man mindset at gmail.com, send me an email, send me a number. I am not above anybody. I will call you myself. And let me tell you why. Because all you young men come into this thing different. So I'd rather talk to you and assess because I don't want to lump you and say, well, do this. No, you might not need it. Maybe you can talk to women, but maybe you just don't know how to approach. Maybe you can approach, but you just don't know how to finish. You know, everybody comes in different. And I care about y'all. I got love for y'all. So go to the man mindset at gmail.com. Send me your number. Let's talk. And when you're ready, Let's do this, man. Let me continue. Finish up with the comments real quick. I'm sorry. I, I told you I'm going to get you all in the comments, man. But welcome, Dominic. I welcome. Appreciate you, dog. Definitely need to work. Keep my calm. That's the hardest part of me. Well, yeah, you got. Hey, look. Hey, Dominic. Hey, dog. Think about this for a second, man. I'm sure you either went to Wendy's, Popeye's, Chick-fil-A, McDonald's, or Burger King. Maybe. If, you, if you're not a vegan. Or you had Chinese food. Italian food, pizza, some or or water at least. I know you had some some kind of a liquid. When you wake up in the morning, scratch your nuts, and you're like, "Damn, I'm hungry." Don't you keep your cool when the voice in your head says, "Dang, D, well, we got we got some leftover food from last night." We got a little bit of milk, but I don't really have I don't think we have enough cereal. So that's out of the question. I think we have a few eggs that you can probably scramble some eggs, but we don't have no bacon to go with it. So maybe uh before we go to work, we'll leave a little bit early. We'll go to McDonald's and maybe get an egg McMuffin. We'll go to Starbucks and get a croissant, or we'll go to um a uh, Dunkin' Donuts and get ourselves a, a croissant there, maybe a donut. Do you see do you see how your mind works for you? And, and, and Dominic, it's not like this. I'm not trying to be funny. It's like, I'm hungry. And y'all minds like, oh, my God, the world's coming to an end. Oh, my God, you're hungry. Oh, my God, the sky is falling. The sky is falling. Oh, my God, what are we going to do? You're not going to eat. You're going to die. And if you don't hurry up and eat something, you're going to die. Oh, my God, if you don't drink anything, you'll get dehydrated. We get to dehydrated. You'll... Your mind doesn't work that way. You simply say, dang, I'm hungry. And your mind cooler than the other side of the pillow says to you yo i remember what we have in the cabinets to eat i remember i know how much money we have if we want to go buy something 
So, sire, here are our options, and you choose what you want. And whatever it is you want, we together are going to go get it. You guys believe in yourself when it comes to eating food. You believe in yourself when it comes to drinking water. You believe in yourself when you get in the car, turn it on, eat a sandwich, talk on the phone, listen to the radio, rap or sing, and drive. You believe in yourself. But for some odd reason, you put ass and some titties to it, and you all cluster. No. As a man, you believe that you can flourish in all things, man. That's how your mind will work for you. Let me keep going on. Um, uh, Abdullah, Chuck Berry, and let me let me allow you because I don't want to give you a wrong history lesson. All right, so Chuck Berry, okay, um, Chuck Berry was born October 18th, 1926, okay, in St. Louis, Missouri, okay? Chuck Berry was one of the pioneers of this music called rock and roll, okay? But unfortunately, Abdullah, back in those days, black people were not recognized for the talents that they had Abdullah and what happened unfortunately was other races would go into black communities and grab and take things from the black community and then they would coin it for themselves that's what Elvis Presley did now what does that have to do with the game today what happened was you had guys by the name of St let's go back let me take you on a trip and I, and I and I hope I got this right. See, this started with a guy named Doc Love in the seventies. Y'all don't y'all should know Doc Love, okay? Doc Love was picking up women back in the day. Now, Doc Love, I think, had an apprentice by the name of Ross Jeffries in the eighties. Ross Jeffries took Doc Love's information, I heard, and started using the thing called NLP to mix with the game to create this whole new brand new thing called speed seduction, okay? Now, Ross Jeffries had a marketer by, I forgot his name, his name was Eben something. Now, Eben, who was a marketer with speed seduction, decided to take that and create something called double your dating, okay? Follow the history line. What he did every month is he would bring people in that he would deem guys that knew game. And there was this magician by the name of Mystery. Mystery, who was a magician who spent off from styles and all these other things, they created this thing called a seduction community and layers for guys to hang out and pass recipes along, ways to manipulate women into liking them, okay? And then it spun on, and it, and it, it just just went, it just, it, but it, that's kind of like a history lesson. But anyway, what I'm saying is, Abdullah, is that, where do you think Doc Love learned the game? The game came from the streets, Abdullah. But when I say the streets, I'm saying it came from mob bosses that were white or Italian. It's not just black people. It was who was in the street getting it. That's where they take this stuff from. So what they did was like, like Elvis did with Barry is that they pick and grab little things from the pimps the hustlers, the players, the max, the warlords, the the godfathers, the the mobsters, all those guys had game. But the game wasn't about women because women were perks. But these guys took those small things 
and they made the game about women. It was never about women, dude. But they made it about women because they knew you guys wanted women so bad. Marketing 101, Abdullah. So if you go back to the 90s, there was a thing called a squeeze page, Abdullah. And a squeeze page was a marketing tactic to make guys think that they knew the cult leader. I am like you. I you excuse me. I used to be like you, alone, afraid, fearful, uh, no confidence, anxiety, issues with women. So I drunk this magical potion. I took this magical peel. I put black fingernail polish on my fingernails. I wore goggles and a boa. And I came up with this jargon called, I don't even know what they call that. <coughs> <coughs> Pickup artists, I don't even know what they call that. Um, some type of language that they, I don't know, man, you know. Uh, we're going to call a lion a duck and a turtle a, a bird. And we're going to use languages and stuff like that. And they call that game, Abdullah. But what I'm trying to tell you goes back to Chuck Berry, Abdullah, is that Chuck Berry, unfortunately, he was a black man back in a time where people thought black men were ignorant and they wasn't smart. But when they see black people doing certain things back then, what they did was they would take from that community because who, who's going to listen to a black man that says I invented rock and roll back then? Come on, dude. They're not because they don't believe black people were smart enough to be able to play instruments. And if y'all didn't look, there was a black one. Wait, y'all didn't even know about the black woman who uh, played rock and roll. Who was that woman's name? Hold on, guys. I'm I'm about to I'm about to uh yeah okay I got one. Are y'all ready for this one? Y'all ready for this one? Some of y'all don't even realize before Chuck Berry, there was a woman named Rosetta Thorpe. Look it up. Look at look up Rosetta Thorpe, the godmother of rock and roll. If you guys don't believe me. Don't believe me. Her name, and I will spell it. As a matter of fact, I'm going to type it in for you guys. Look up her name and look what she was doing back in the day when there was segregation. There was a lot of racism going on. I'm going to type her name up. Hold on a second. I want y'all, don't, oh, dude, y'all ain't, y'all, see, I ain't ready for this. Y'all ain't ready for this, but I'm going to show y'all. Her name is Rosetta. All right, listen, look, look her name up. I just sent that to you. Look her name up. Look her name up and look at the YouTube of where rock and roll is coming from. It didn't come from Elvis Presley. This is where it came from. This woman was born in 1915. She was born in 1915. Playing music in what? 1938 with the guitar. Guys, don't believe me. Look up her name and look. But this is what I'm talking about, Abdullah. And it's no luck. This this isn't a thing about race. I'm just giving you an understanding that the game came from the street. People went on the street and picked what they wanted to from the game and called it game and it ain't game because game it has every game has always been game that's what i'm saying okay and i hope you understand that abdullah look up chuck berry uh who was chuck berry's idols i don't know who his idols were but what i'm saying to you is this look look up look look her up her name is rosetta thorpe sister rosetta thorpe they called her the godmother of rock and roll. Wow, she was wow. 
Wow, she played rhythm and blues. She played rock and roll. She was, she was doing this. Okay. Oh, and you ready? You ready for this, guys? Hey, hey, Abdullah, check this out. You ready? She influenced early rock and roll musicians, including Little Richard, Johnny Cash, Cash, Carl Pinkins, Perkins, excuse me, Chuck Berry, Elvis Presley. And Jerry Lee Lewis. So technically, it was a black. Hey, I was wrong. It's a black woman that influenced. But that's what I'm saying. You got to do your homework and understand the game came from the streets. It didn't come from YouTube's and it didn't come from books nowadays. These guys don't know the game, dude. Come on, man. Let's keep going. I told my laws was a coach in the beginning of the relationship with me, mom, girl, Ross, and Shane control code. Okay. Uh, where you got? Uh, thank you, Mr. Bay. Hey, man, I, I appreciate that. Thank you, man. Um, uh, Joey, what kind of poetry do you write? Hey, Joey, go to the manmindset.com. On the very first page, you can listen to my erotic poetry. It's on the very first page. When you go to the man mindset, scroll all the way down, you will see a link to all my poetry. I can write poetry about happy, sad, erotic, sexual. I miss you. I need you back. I write about all that stuff, man. So check that out, Joey. Yes, the poetry is available. Go to my website. Click on that. Um, I, I, Abdullah, I don't know the... Abdullah, I'm taking you back to 1930. Where did she start? 1930s and 40s, dude, okay? 1930s and 40s. Uh, American Captain, if you need some yak advice, go ahead and ask me before I wrap this show up. Go ahead and ask me. I'll help you because I'm about to wrap this show up. I was only, I didn't want to do three hours, but it seems like I'm back to three hours. So just uh, uh, ask me the question, and I will be happy to answer that real quick for you. So just let me know. I will help you out with that. Uh, but Abdullah, what I'm saying is it doesn't. OK, Abdullah, what I'm saying to you, I'm not. It doesn't matter who created rock and roll, sir. What I'm trying to tell you is that when you think rock and roll, you think Elvis or Jerry Lee Lewis first. Those are the guys that come to mind because people thought that they were the inventors of it, because back in those days, people who didn't have other pigment colors were seen as um, as ignorant. That's what I'm saying. So a lot of people went into the communities where the pimps, max players, and hustlers were, and they learned game, or they took pieces from it and called it game when it's really not. That's what I'm saying. Uh, let's see here. Where is the term PUA was coined? I don't shoot. That comes from the seduction community. I don't know who did it. It was either... I think it came from the game from uh, Styles. I think it's in his book, The Game. He started off as an AFC uh, average frustrating, uh, was it Cupcake or Chump or something like that? I don't know. Yeah, Doc Love is an old school cat. Look him up. He, he's, he was, he's been spitting game for a long period of time. Uh, let's see here. Uh, those were the guys in the spotlight. Not everyone in the spotlight. Is that the guy as if? There are other guys that are in the spotlight. Don't jabber game. Uh, those were guys in the spotlight, but not everyone in the spotlight is that guy as if they were guys that aren't in the spotlight. Uh, Abdullah, I don't understand what you're saying, but what I'm trying to tell you is that when guys try to tell you it's new, it's a lie because it, if, it, if it's under the sun, it's already been done before, brother. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Uh, let me get to Mr. Bay. I am working on the best me. If women follow, uh, if women follow great, if not, keep keep working. Well, not working, Mr. Bay. Keep walking, brother. But that was good. Uh, stop, Steve. Stop what? What do you want me to stop? I don't understand. Stop what? You asked for a truth. I gave you the, I gave you the, I gave you an answer. What do you, what do you mean stop? It is what I'm talking about. What do you mean stop? You asked me, did he not ask me a question? I gave you an answer. What do you mean stop? Don't you ever tell me to stop? Abdullah, don't you do that, man. Yes, yeah, she was Obson. Yes, Rosetta Thorpe. Yes, yes, yes. That's her name. Yes. Um, Edumacate them, Steve. Well, I is I'm not trying to um, edumacate 
the guys. I, I'm not. I'm trying to educate you on understanding that what you think is the game is not the game today. A lot of you guys are under the impression that just because someone new comes around and they say they know the game, that they don't know the game because they're always trying to reinvent the wheel. And that's what y'all don't notice. Nobody is telling you the stuff that you are learning here. You're not getting that information, man. But I'm not the only one. You got guys like Alan Rollins, your Curry that knows the game. You got guys like Rosebud that knows the game. You know what I mean, you got guys out there that knows the game, man. There's a lot of them out there. Um, I Eddie, I don't know if a black woman started rock and roll, but what I'm saying, Eddie, is that she influenced certain people. But when they look at when they think about rock and roll, they don't mention Rosetta Thorpe. They don't mention Chuck Berry. They mention Elvis Presley, Jerry Lou Lewis, and later on down the line, like a Johnny Cash. So that's what I'm saying. What I'm saying is, and it's not just black people, it's just there are people throughout time that have invented things that never got credit for it. That's all. But I continue. I know my man Steve don't be doing this for likes. He's got six crumpets who hit the dislike button. All you are lame as hell. Old boy is true to like player hustler who knows the game better than most. Nemesis, I'm just a man. And Nemesis, the thing is, is that you can't please everybody and everybody ain't ready for this yak right here, man. And I appreciate what you're saying, Nemesis. Much love and much respect to you. Uh, Elvis publicly said that Chuck Berry was a true green. Well, I, I'm glad he said that. I'm glad he, he owned it. But, but again, people thought he was rock and roll. You know what I mean? When you think rock and roll, you think Elvis. So, and it's no bad, it's no knock, but that's not the point I'm trying to make. In America, I need you to answer my question real quick because I'm about to end this. The point I'm trying to make to you guys at the end of the day is that everybody that but at, who have come in during the internet, okay, what they have done is they have learned bits and pieces of the game, but call it the game. Does that make any sense, guys? That's what I'm saying. Any man that tells you to wear fingernail polish, any man that doesn't call this a telephone but calls it a cup, y'all got to be careful about those guys, man. Because those guys are keeping you where you're at. All right, here we go, America. Last one. There's this girl I want to smash, but she lives an hour away. I want to give her some yak, which she's attempted to, but I don't know if she's bullshit or not. Well, here's the problem, America, American captain. Um, The problem and the issue, and American captain, I think I'm going to do a show tomorrow night. It might be a late one, but I'm going to do a show where I'm going to read emails and we're going to do more stuff, but I'd be happy to help you too, America, America Captain. Um, the thing is, is that I don't know if you put your bid in to let her know that you were interested in her. I don't know if you told her that you want to get to know her on a more of an intimate level. I don't know that if you've done that already. And if she's down and you want to see her, then like I told one of, the, one of my clients last night, is that you can meet 30 minutes. You don't have to drive an hour. Um, but if you want to take the drive. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Man in the man tainment. Yeah, I I I under I understand that. Um uh wait a second, yo, see, I want to smash a chick at work. Give me some advice. You're no, I I Carlos, you don't, you don't, you're a joke. You're you're playing around. I, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna waste my time on you. You don't really want to know anything. Um, man tainment. I yes, and again, the my my whole thing again, and, and I'm glad you you said what you said, man tainment, was that this is no knock on um Elvis or or rock and roll. What I'm just trying to let people understand is that the actual game or what you want to call game came from the streets and if you're if you're not on the streets and you're corporate so to speak you don't know the game so what you got to do is you got to go down into that environment and you can watch from afar about how they handle themselves and you can you can pick from them you see what I'm saying? But 
The thing is, is you can pick for them, but the problem is, is that these guys are picking things from the streets and calling it game. And then what a lot of people are doing, man, entertainment, is that they're all about subscribers and clicks. You see what I'm saying? And somebody that new is new to this is going to look at a guy that has 100,000, 300,000 subscribers and assume that because all the other sheeps are following him that this guy knows what he's talking about. Because if you looked at Mystery Method or all these other places that came out, they had a huge following, right? But even in that huge following, they're telling you to wear black fingernail polish, a boa, goggles, and things like that to quote-unquote peacock. So just because it shines, man entertainment, man entertainment, doesn't mean it's gold. But the problem with a lot of these guys is that they are like, like Carlos is doing. They're so thirsty about sex. They will listen and follow anybody that says, I can get you sex in a day. Sleep with her tonight. One night stand. And man tame it, what I'm saying is this. That's the equivalent of them telling those guys that I can make you a surgeon, a doctor, an accountant, and a lawyer in a day. And that's the problem. A lot of guys are following with misled information. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. I see we got eight minutes left, so I'm going to roll this up to the top of the hour. So, guys, we got eight minutes left until we can wrap this up and call it three hours. So, anybody out there, uh, let me know if you got any questions. I'll be happy to answer any questions. But, again, um, I want to, uh, man, Tame, and I do want to say what you're saying right there because I, I like what you're saying and I appreciate what you're saying and everything like that. Uh, Carlos, uh, Carlos, look, I'm going to be 100. You are a sheep. You are. You are. You're, you are a sheep. Because you're, uh, Carlos, I don't, I don't want to put you on front street. Don't, don't make me do it. I, I'm going to leave you alone, dog, because I don't, I don't want to make you feel weak and, 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 and timid and soft and, and, uh, and, and feminine like you are. I'm not trying to be mean. I'm just being real. I, I don't, I don't want to do that. Because... You're going to make me do it. Anybody that says, anybody that says this, or excuse me, not this one, I'm sorry. Anybody that says this, their pussy is tighter than a woman's. And that's why you can't get a woman. Because a woman don't want to mess with a woman, or excuse me, mess with a guy whose pussy is tighter than hers. So I, your statements show what you are, dog. And I don't mean to bust, I'm not trying to bust you, but don't come in here and interrupt the class, okay? Don't do that. Anyway, guys, we have eight minutes to go. If anybody has any other questions, uh, hopefully, America, I can I answer your question correctly. Just make sure you have put your bid in and you want to let her know you want to get to know her on an intimate level. If you have not done that, then you're not going to get anywhere because right now she sees you as her friend, okay? And that's very important, okay? So if y'all got any questions, we got seven minutes to go, ask a question, and I'll be happy to answer that before I go, guys. And guys, don't forget, Monday, we are going to be talking. Well, don't forget, tomorrow, there's going to be a Red Man group show tomorrow at 11 East. And also, guys, do not forget, Monday, the Red Pill Mindset, we're going to be talking about I am no Teddy Ruxpin. Okay? I am no Teddy Ruxpin. My, excuse me, my name isn't Teddy Ruxpin. Um, let's see here. Um, let's see. Let's go. I like what you're talking about, man. Chaos one, the rap music, making money is for the corporate is accountable and flaunted. Now everybody on it. Graffiti isn't corporate. It gets no respect. Hasn't made a billion for some corporate, but that's, that's, that's real talk, man. That's, that's real talk. But again, I'm not, I, I, I'm not making this about rock and roll or anything. I just wanted to give y'all an example of, what has happened now because there's so many guys that are coming to you like like i say the antichrist or they're coming as a cult leader with their arms open trying to tell you that they are giving you a solution but what they're doing is they're holding you back and y'all understand 
A lot of these guys are working for women. I keep telling y'all that. That's how deep this is. We got four minutes left. Anyone has any questions, feel free to ask a question. I got your back. And, you know, I, I appreciate the six guys that dislike this. I, I'm not here for everybody. I'm here for those that are ready to break free and, and win. So it's all good. All right, any more questions? We have five minutes left. I'm just waiting. Any more questions? If you got any questions, please post it in the chat room. I'll be happy to answer that question. But while we are waiting, I do want to say again, we are brought to you by, um, just want to let y'all guys know. Oh, uh, wait, I'm sorry, KR. I got to take this off, dog. You you spitting all that yak. I got to take that off so I can tell everybody. Um, here you go. So this is being brought to you by. I want you guys to see it. Uh, Tactical Soap, guys. Make sure y'all check out tacticalsoap.com. Also, Tate's War Room. Check that out. Uh, the Attorney for Excellence. And last but least, the, the most one we put to say the best for last. Hey, the world's greatest event for men, the 21 Convention, Orlando, Florida, October 24th through the 27th. I'm going to be there. I would like to meet you, man. I'd like to shake your hand. And I'd like to have drinks with you, man. Let's talk. Let's chop this up, man. Come on in. Can't wait to see you. All right, guys, we got uh, four minutes to go. Let's keep going. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna have to call another time. Yeah. Okay. Well, do it. just call in tomorrow. Just, um, you know, I'm doing a live show tomorrow sometime tomorrow. Make sure you add me to Facebook or Instagram, the man mindset. Uh, I, I will always keep, cause I'm always riding my bike. So I will always keep you up to date on what's going on. Now tomorrow I'm going to see Rambo with my boys. So I got to figure when, when Rambo is over, I'm probably do a show after Rambo. So that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. Um, uh, let's see here. Uh, yes, we do keep the real. Okay, have you? Yeah, hey, hey, Carlos. All the yeah, all these vids go up. Yeah, I don't touch these things. Okay, here's the thing. Have you read the book Hard Times Create Strong Men? Uh, hey, sir. Uh, Garrett. I no, I don't. Garrett. I am the game, dog. I don't read other people's books. I I don't. I I don't. I I I I just want to know what you mean by your question. But to answer your question, no, I don't know. Cause I I got everything here that I need to to get people out. Cause I've been doing this since I was nine years old. So uh, I, I know what I'm I'm good. But if you wanted to explain why, please do. But his book is none of my business, brother. Uh, Dominic, thank you very much for today. I feel like I have topics for conversation. It would be uh great to one. Wait, would would be a great start to one. Well, Dominic, you got to go to the man mindset at gmail. Let me skip. Go to the man mindset.com, sir, and start watching the approaching boot camp. The approaching boot camp connects everything that we teach, sir. And what I'm showing you, I'm not trying to complicate it. I'm just showing you how guys like me that get women to, <laughs> and we talk about this all the time, and I love this. This is great. When you get women to say things like that, call you an asshole and stuff like that. Or, or they say to you, you know, God, go find me someone like you that hasn't smashed half the universe. Guys, you're winning. You're winning. You're winning. We got two minutes left. Let me keep going down. Uh, a lot of women on campus right now with all the college parties, football happening. Oh, God, Jay. Yes, absolutely, man. Absolutely. Matthew. Hey, Steve, I have a question. How do I go approach this? There was a girl in my class whom I spoke with the first day, but it was brief. Well, Matthew, this is what I would say to you, sir, real quick. Next time you see her in class, tell her that you know what you like to take a moment to talk to her, okay? Now, Matthew, what I want you to go, go to the man mindset. Learn the approach boot camp. Why? Because I need you to be clear, concise, and transparent. Don't play around. Don't ask games. Let her know that you are attracted, attracted to her and that you want to get to know her better, but you want to let her know why. Just watch the approach and boot camp, my brother, and you'll be fine, okay? Uh, American, you know I got you, brother. Thank you for using. <laughs> you know, I got radio. you covered. So, uh, yeah, yeah. Please call in tomorrow uh, if you want. But yeah, uh, but I didn't understand what the. I mean, uh, uh, Mr. Ball, I didn't understand why you were asking me that question. But feel free to call in. But again, I don't know anybody's stuff, nor do I care because it's none of my business. Because I know all the things that you need to know because I've done them all. I mean, I'm an ex gigolo, so I believe you me. I, I I know everything under the sun and I know what is and what's not. So uh, y'all can read all the books you want. I'm not here to say books are bad, but I'm saying that a lot of guys can easily write a book. But where are the receipts? 
Where are the women? Where are the text messages? Where's the information? So, you know, those are things you got to ask yourself. So, Mr. Ball, if you, I've got only a minute left, but if you want to answer that, that's cool. But if you can't, that's cool. Four weeks later this week, turns out she goes to the train station the same direction. We spoke for a while, which had good flow. I have interest in pursuing her, but I want to know how you do it. Well, this is how you do it. Listen, that you, you're kind of behind the eight ball, okay, Matthew? Because when you're with her and y'all are having a great conversation, that's when you talk to her and you let her know, look, I just want to let you know that the reason I started talking to you from the first place is because I'm interested in you. And this is what I would like to do. It's, it's not complicated, brother. But remember, guys, add me to Instagram at the man mindset. OK, matter of fact, let me let me post this real quick. Uh, add me to the man mindset. Send me an email. The man mindset at gmail.com. The man mindset at gmail.com. If y'all want receipts, just send me an email and say receipt. <laughs> I'll, sh- I'll send you a receipt. I can show you that. You know, I, I, hey, y'all mean, dog. You're talking to the real deal right here. But if y'all got any questions, y'all want to grow, send me, a, send me a number. I'll call you and stuff. No worries. Respect to y'all. Thank you, man. Also, what each time would you be doing that? Okay, well, Garrett, that's what I'm saying. Uh, I always ride my bike every morning or sometime midday. Uh, I got to do the Red Man Group tomorrow. So after the Red Man Group, I'm going to ride my bike. But by that time, I'll know what time the Rambo movie I'm going to. I think I'm going to try to go to a 7 o'clock movie. So maybe around 9 or 10 o'clock tomorrow night, we'll go live. But what I promise you I will do is I will either put it on Twitter at The Man Mindset or Instagram at The Man Mindset or Facebook at The Man Mindset, okay? Uh, yes, you did, Eddie. I sent it to you. Or didn't I? Wait, Eddie, I think I sent it to you. Wait, Eddie, shoot. Eddie, you know what? You know what, Eddie? Wait a second, Eddie. Hey, Eddie. Eddie, as we are speaking right now, Eddie. Oh, damn, Eddie. Eddie, you know what, Eddie? Eddie, this is what I'm going to do. I have it right here, and I didn't send it. But what I'm going to do, Eddie, because I messed up, and I'm going to own it, I'm going to send you the second one for free, dog, okay? So you get number two right now, absolutely free, dog. You paid for one. I just sent you it with number two, okay? I messed up, Eddie. So you're getting one and two. You're getting two absolutely free. That was on me. You got it, Eddie. I'm sorry. Uh, thanks, Steve. Definitely appreciate your answer. I would like to call and perhaps we can do it. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely, brother. Call in tomorrow. Hey, Matthew, add me at the man mindset, okay? Please add me to Instagram or Twitter. And when I go live, I'm going to tell you, and, and you call in tomorrow night, you and Mr. Ball, because it'll be an honor to talk to you. I, I Listen, I'm not special. I'm just a man. But you know what? If you ready to learn, dude, let's talk. Let's chop it up. And let's get you that y'all mean. Because Matthew, do you have her phone number? Because if you have her phone number tomorrow, Matthew, I'm going to tell you some yak to tell her live and unscripted that I want you to say to her, okay? Uh, Mr. Mr. Ball, I got to get ready to go. But I want to say this. I think the... Book confused me a bit. I'm new to the red pill. I'll say bring my question tomorrow. Now I'm in time right now. I really appreciate you. Hey, Mr. Ball, thank you. And I appreciate you too. And Mr. Ball, just send me an email at the man mindset at gmail.com, dog. Send me an email at the man mindset at gmail.com. And uh, I, I'll be happy to show you receipts. Because if you want to get, hey, guys, come on, man. Yeah, me. What? Come on, man. Hold on. Before I go, I, you know what? I'm going to end this on a receipt. And I played this yesterday for y'all guys because I wanted y'all to know that this is this is how it is. Guys, this is from a client. My client was nice enough to let me play some of this stuff. So but before I go, because I'm about to go, I got to go, guys. I got to go. But I love y'all. Y'all got y'all my dogs. I will I, I rock with y'all. But let me play this for y'all. Just let me play this for y'all. I mean, this this is a receipt, right? I really appreciate who you are. I'm so glad I met you. Really, really. I really am. You, like, you kind of changed my day. The days that I've even talked to you, you've you've actually changed them. And that's, I don't know, just amazing. But I want to let you know that um, I just want to thank you for today. Thank you so much. You don't know how you really 
brighten my day and uh, don't know how to express it, but I just want to say thank you. And uh, you might not hear from me for the rest of the night because of where I'm going. I would never want to disrespect anyone by messaging someone else in front of them. That's not me. No, oh, yeah, I really was being sincere, though. I mean, I've never in my life, in my whole 38 years, been told that I'm somebody's favorite song. I mean, that's that was really beautiful. I mean, it kind of left me speechless. I was just sitting here smiling like, wow. <laughs> but, yeah, I really do appreciate every little compliment when it's really meant so um but yeah um, to answer your question I mean besides you know every year my my child ages and seeing them grow and you know develop new new traits opinions and all of that I mean I'm I feel very proud all right, all right, let's go now. Guys, let me tell you something. It's not just a 38-year-old. I got 21-year-olds, 19, 24-year-olds, 25-year-olds. I got nothing but receipts that it doesn't matter. They all say the same thing, so there's there's no difference in them. But anyway, I got to wrap this thing up, guys. I wanted y'all to hear that and everything. So, uh, oh, guys, okay, yeah. So, yeah, y'all take care, man. Y'all have a very good night, guys. We'll check y'all out tomorrow. But also, guys, if y'all need me, hit me up at the man mindset at gmail.com. Just send me a... Uh, Email that says receipts, and I will I'll show you how your life should be. And I'm right. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. So, all right, I got to get ready to go. I'm the dean. This is the man mindset. Y'all have a good one. And uh, don't worry. We're going to do something tomorrow. I will give you a date and a time tomorrow on Instagram or Twitter. Y'all be good now. Peace.